Welcome back to another episode of Skill Check, our probably final episode of Dino Rodeo. It's been an absolute pleasure dungeon mastering for you guys. But before I leave, last time you guys on Escape Island had talked to all of the different faction leaders, including, oh man, I don't even remember the guy's name because he was so useless. The leader of the Keepers, Farley. That's exactly it. Two cool points. Um, <laughs> Farley, the leader of the Keepers. Fuck. I know, you guys gotta <laughs> catch up. <laughs> the economy's fucked. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. The, the cool point economy is a real thing, believe it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And you guys discovered how much of an absolute, you know, useless person he was, and then went to go to the lab to talk to Katarina Nice. That one, interestingly, you kind of half assaulted them. And then after talking with Katarina for a while and giving her, you know, a pinky finger and some hot dog and wanting to leave, killing her husband, fighting a giant three-headed dinosaur, and then, you know, basically just killing innocents uh, either on accident or for fun, whichever, you know, you prefer. You made your way away from the lab, back towards the ship that'll take you back to the mainland, and you have just boarded it and are riding out. And like on the way in, if you guys want to try and get a long rest while you're on the boat, because it's a long trip, you can make a constitution saving throw, and we'll see if you guys are able to focus. But not not everyone needs to, I think. Because technically it's not nighttime. You know, you guys don't uh, have to long rest if you don't want to. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to spell flaw. 14. I'm going to keep watch. 14 is, is a success. Sure, you watch. 16. Yeah, no, no sleep for you, sadly. Okay, I'm vomiting again. No! 16. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I think we should add like something like proficiency because I've been on a ship. Yes. Okay. Cool. Thank God. Sixteen. Sixteen. Or no advantage. Advantage. Not proficiency. Uh -huh. I apologize. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Eighteen. Eighteen. All of you succeeded except for Stewie. So <laughs> seasick. Yeah. Oh. Very not used to spending time on the open sea. Um, as you guys are traveling, uh, Lombardi is kind of chatting, just shooting the shit with you guys, and at some point he goes, "Hey, you." Uh, we had someone like right after you guys left, uh, one of uh, you know sciencey looking fellow came onto the ship. He had this like bow tie on. It was weird. It's kind of translucent. He left something for you. Said it belonged to a friend of his, but he thought it was better for you. And he flips open a cabinet and he pulls out a ream of white paper and he hands it to you. And the front it says the serial screenplay. And he goes. I don't really know what it is. He told me not to look at it. So I think that you're fine, though. All right. I want to I wanna read it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the front, uh, there's a note from the person that you just met. Uh, and it just is written, I think this will be better in your hands. And as you're looking through it, it's kind of like weirdly texted. The last page just says the word father, like... 200 times just on both pages before all of the pages start clearing themselves. And when you flip back to the front, you see a passage of information. It says, when the Blue Man Group returns to Paradise Jungle, they don't recognize the plot laid before them. Don Bonbon bon is unhappy with the terms of his deal and he's certainly upset with the destruction of the rodeo. As the Blue Man Group approaches the jungle, they prep to trick him into ingesting Hugh for an unpleasant surprise. The serial screenplay will answer you one yes or no question if you fulfill the conditions within it. What are the conditions within it? Right now, it is supposing that you are going to assassinate Don Bon Bon. But it is up to you to decide if you want to fulfill it. And you get any yes or no question answered by me, Dang. your dungeon master. <laughs> so I'm reading it. I'll relay it to them. We have to kill Don Bon Bon. I cover you who's ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say this. When he kind of gets talking, you realize and you cover his ears up. Um, Are there any objections? Were there any Don Bon Bon fans amongst us? Is there us? like a reason behind it? I'm uh, fine with it. I just want to know why. This is a prophecy and I need to fulfill it. Okay. Yeah, I don't really like the idea of killing him, but he did try to kill us. He and did. He did that. And then also we killed... Madam Wesley, so I feel like this whole world just needs a full reset. Yeah. <laughs> I really thought that big red button was going to do it, but this seems like our big red button now. Yeah, yeah. I'm the big red button. I'm yeah. the one who knocks. One who and so, <laughs> did you read us the screenplay? Like, you already read uh, it did, to us? Did I, like, read it out loud? If you would like to. Okay, I'll, I'll read it all out loud. Yeah, so you can still got yeah. your muffs on. So basically, we need you to 
get inside right. and on them. Like, it sounds like we got to do it that way. Yeah, sneakily. Um, someone say sneak. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, why don't we unplug you who's yours? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> I just want to talk to him. Look, I love you. You know I'm not going to do anything bad. Don't upset him. I, I love him. Don't tell him about his thing. Okay, so you, you guys touch my head. I don't really understand. It's just, it's something we do, you know. Uh-huh. You're not yet uh-huh. in the inner circle, but you yeah, will be. You're good okay. now. Okay. So we were talking, and we kind of want to do something nice for your dad for not killing us last time we were with him. Uh-huh. We, we're we big food people. We yeah. wanted to see if maybe he has a favorite food and drink. that he, we. Could he try. likes bananas a lot. Do they make like banana drinks? Is that a thing, or do I just give him banana? No, I mean, if he's having banana, he's also going to have a scotch. Okay. <laughs> Good man. Good man. That's great. So that's really all the info we needed. Um, okay. We're just kind of guys going to get him bananas and scotch. Probably. Wow. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we do big gestures here. Actually, this is going to be a deception check. Because this is a pretty big lie that that you're planning. You are almost saying we're definitely not going to poison this guy. Parting inspiration. Yeah. For that. Okay. So I'm just playing like a little. We are to going to do here. that. It's just right. We are giving him that. I guess that's true, but not to be nice. So you get an extra d6. That's great. We need that. Well, we got anything else around here? <laughs> any more? Any more boosts? I just I'm gonna walk up and slap you on the ass. Guidance. <laughs> is, that a, is that a D4? That's a, a D4, yeah. Oh, it's a I can't, I can't help you. I'm sleeping. Mm. Well, that got us up to a 10. Okay. <laughs> this is a dice tray that only has sixes in it. So, not going to be very good for rolls. This had, only has 12s. I don't have a D20 on me currently. I had the How opportunity did this happen? here. I'm giving them a big one. Oh, yes. The Dungeon Master D20. Mine wasn't big enough for you. Mm-hmm. That's bad. Yeah, he gave me the bad one on purpose. Yeah, he just kind of goes, okay. Cool. Sure. I love that die, but I never roll above a 10 on it. <laughs> so. I'm going to roll out all the bad ways right now. All right. There we go. Done. Nice. Okay. He no, sits back and lounges and crosses his long legs and cool. he kind of bends his thumbed feet. I'm going to look at every single person and give them all a wink. You wake at me while I'm sleeping? That's kind of yeah. Nice. I just do this. But nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> no eyeballs. Okay. Anything else on the ship before you guys hit the mainland? Ah! PTSD drip. <laughs> good. I'm gonna give him a little. I get those all the time. Help him sleep. <laughs> yeah, <it's> safer. <laughs> like smelling salt under the nose. Yeah. Some opium fumes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. You guys land, and uh, you see as Lombardi starts setting up the ship, and yes. Yuhu and Izzy <laughs> are helping him, but he. He's kind of like handling everything, and they're looking at you guys, kind of not really sure what to do. Izzy and you who are looking for a little guidance, whether they should stay here, go with you, go somewhere else. I think maybe you guys go chill like in the kitchen here at the rodeo area, and we'll come back for you guys. The place where the people yeah, are that's revolting? Not, that's not super safe for you, who I mean, especially. I think we need it's also. Yeah, yeah don't maybe don't listen to anything I've said. I mean, where are you guys planning on going? If you're going to the rodeo, I mean, I know people there, so and people know me. Like, I know Donatello and, you know, the chef. Well, so. there's a good chance they're dead, and we're not going there, by the way. Okay. We're going to go to, you guys want to just go on over to Paradise Jungle? Do you guys know where to get scotch? So we do need that. I'm just, just, we don't need scotch. Yeah, I'm just going to make myself look like scotch. You only need, like, the prop, at least, to be like, oh, here you go, he's man. Like an ice cube. Yeah. Oh. Well, you can he might, he you might can minor illusion a bottle of scotch, first. I imagine him. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's actually a really good one. Magic powers? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Sure. We're playing D&D. <laughs> Let's go. I'm I, I can take uh, you who We can go to the kitchen with first things to make scotch. I mean, we're not, definitely not going to be able to ferment and distill scotch in the time frame. Just we really don't just, need scotch. Yeah, yeah, we can just put it in. I can just All right, so we're bottle. good with scotch. Oh. Yeah. So why don't, why don't we head on over to Paradise Jungle, if everybody here agrees with that? Hearts for me. 
Let's move. If well, you guys are going, you're gonna have to find raptors because the ones that I think we wrote here yeah. probably fucked off. Yeah, bro. What, what are we going to the, the jungle for? Thank We're wait. gonna wait. give Don Bon Bon a, a, a scotch gift. drink. Yep. We're bringing him a gift. Yeah, they're planning on bringing him something all nice for being, I don't know, not <laughs> murderous. <laughs> wait, so why? Like, he was he tried to kill us, but he didn't. Yeah. That was fair. Yeah, so we're bringing him a gift. He's hmm. a nice boy. So I remember, so Don Bon Bon has lots of bananas, right? I remember there was an exquisite, like, set of spices in a spice rack in the kitchen. Uh huh. Now, you, you know your father better than I do. I do. What if we went to that spice rack since that place is disheveled? I'll help you. You help me. We find something. And we let the rest of the group kind of set up and, and get over there. So you and I go to the kitchen. We need you. We need you. We need you. To kill his father? I you guys are with Tarling. No, it's not even his character. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. it's not being said in game. Yeah, we need him to get us to his dad. Mm. Uh, Probably not just going to be able to march up yeah. to the leader of. Presumably, I thought, what I thought the we were free world is going to be. Yeah. Lombardi, we do you have like a special whistle for these raptors? I don't have a special whistle. Uh, usually, that was up to like the trainers and stuff. I mean, we're out in the wastes behind the Dino Rodeo. You probably could do some searching, and if you're good enough, you could just find some Roman. Um, or if you go to the Rodeo, I'm sure they have some in pens. If you're looking for specific types of, like, you don't even have to do raptors. You could have whatever else they got there. Pterodactyls? No. No flying. <laughs> no, no flying beasts, sadly. No flying mountains. Sorry, guys. I mean, it's hard to keep them wrangled. Not uh, fair. Can I do a nature check to see if I can whistle for him? Like, in yeah, sure. Place. This is badass. Uh, twenty-two. Yeah, I think Hell that uh, if you guys uh, forego going to the Dino Rodeo and instead look for them out in the wastes, you'll give advantage to the roll um, because you have a raptor call somehow. Yeah. Can we breath of the, we breath of the wild, just fucking mounted, dude. See how many stars are on a sure a Dino and just run it. Rank. This <laughs> raptor's rank is B. It's bronze three. Fuck! Not again. Damn it. This raptor is ass at jungling. You like feeling like a cowboy today? Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> Lombardi hands you guys lassoed rope. Ooh. I'm going to take mine and at the very end, I'm going to tie it around a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> very good. So while you guys are using lassos, I'm going to go fishing. Over. Yeah, and I'm going to throw out a hot dog and see what bites. Okay, so you guys are going to be searching for raptors just out in the wastes? You're land fishing. <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good to me. Somebody needs to roll survival to see if they can find a pack. Oh, a pack good. of them. Oh, I think it's good. Wait, let's do two people rolling survival. And because of hemp, uh, you guys will both have advantage. Okay. Okay. Amy, I can tell you. I've got I'm plus three, three in survival. Same. Or wait, if that's wisdom, it might be plus four now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oh, it's, okay. let's do we survival. Uh, oh, plus five? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. You have advantage. <laughs> advantage? Okay. Guidance. Oh, oh, guidance. So plus a D4. Okay, so that was 17. Plus a D4. Yeah, I just. Oh, plus a D4. Wait, plus oh, I didn't actually. Yeah, it's, it's the roll. 21. 21. Wow. <laughs> That's 9 plus 10. <laughs> That's your most common roll, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually. Yeah, I think uh, with Stewie's guidance, you guys are walking through the wastes and with Hemp's, you know, raptor call, however it is. Um, you find a Can roving a band course? of raptors. <laughs> do what? Can um, you do the call? I just go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's raptors. Raptors love sex. that. <laughs> that's their mating call. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> they just, they, well, they don't let people hear it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's Amy, very, like, oh. sacred sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, in the distance, you hear, oh! <laughs> God, it's beautiful. I just keep pitching it up, like, oh! <laughs> Yeah, and eventually you find a, a batch of, I don't know, seven of the perfect. It's the perfect number. Um, you guys find seven raptors that are off in the distance. You guys are going to have to wrangle them uh, before you can hop on top of them. So how, how are you guys going to go about wrangling? You guys have lassos. You have your hot dog fishing I'm going to throw my hot dog back out. Yeah, sure. Roll. Oh, man, I want to make this so easy. Roll animal handling. Guys, that skill has uses. Oh, Come yeah. on. This is we, super we all easy. He's rolling because this he's trying so to feed them. Easily. Okay. 15. Yeah. I think uh, <laughs> one of them just walks up to the hot dog and starts chewing on it. I and, jump on it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that you just walk up close to it. And it's just kind of happy that it's eating food. I can't you, believe my hot dog helped me for once. I know, right? Productive yeah. hot dog. You only had 170 of them. 
No, those are back in the bunk. I have four left in my pocket. Oh shit, we do have to go back now. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing. Gotta reload. I'm gonna hang from a tree like a bat, kind of. I'm gonna just dangle my thing and hope one just runs its head through the little like lasso. Yeah. Part. How about stealth? Oh, this is, that's this is really bad. For me. Yep. Yeah, that's a nine. <laughs> that will not do it. And they kind of run past you and almost like laughably like run in circles around the lasso that's hanging. And you're kind of swinging it trying to get them. But they all scattered. Oh. So you're going to have to bunk with somebody probably. I'll just shape self. I'll be 10 feet real scary. And I'll start screaming at one of them to get it to stay still. Sure. Roll intimidation. <laughs> that's a 11. 11 is exactly the DC that you need. One of them is just paralyzed in fear as you shrink back down and hop on its back. It's trembling <laughs> as you sit on it. Yeah, I, it. I have a rope, so can I sit perfectly still until one comes up close enough for me to just like lasso it? <laughs> so good. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't even know what this would be. I can't make it stealth because your ass at that. This plan is perfect. <laughs> Um, what about performance? Yeah, performance is good. I like that. He's pretending to be a tree. It, yes, exactly. It's performance. <laughs> it's a 17. Yeah, easy enough to do. <laughs> One just walks up to you and you just kind of like grab it <laughs> and sit on top, on top it. I'm going to play dead. <laughs> oh, very good. It might, this, it might be scavengers. This could be either survival or performance. Oof, survival for sure. I might actually be dead. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, it's uh, uh, four. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Sorry. Yeah. How about this? One is going to charge you. Yeah. It will right. attack you. Yeah, yeah. You can either get hit by the attack yeah, and course. then wrestle it, or you can dive roll out of the way, and you won't take damage, but you won't have a raptor. That's fine. Let's, let's let it hit me. Sure. That's a 17 to hit. Or I guess you're letting it hit you, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Man, having no tray is crazy. Let's do some map. 12 piercing damage. Uh, thunderous reboot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, it feels the same. Max damage, by the way. Oh, okay, yeah, good. Because my channel didn't what's, what's the damage? Because it failed. Dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, I think it's... Oh my god, fucking A. This is above 20. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah. The raptor just... <laughs> and it is barely able to stand. Guys, I think I got one. It now is not running away from you. Yeah. Do I have it? Yep. Fuck yeah, dude. Caught like a Pokemon, kind of. <laughs> More like a Power World, you know, thing. I should. Okay, one, two, three. You don't have one, four. I'm going to two, two. Yeah. What, what do you guys I'm going to play like a little ditty, like a la Andy, Mc Andy McKee, like really beautiful. Uh-huh. Music to try and like entice them to come over. Go ahead, give me what a performance I check. Performance, okay. Um, I need. I'm gonna build myself a little tray here. Uh, unnatural twenty. Ooh, yeah. You easy enough. As you're playing, you actually get like a host of three of them to just walk up to you, and they're kind of vibing. Easy enough. You guys want one? <laughs> Please come still hanging from the tree. <laughs> out, out of character, why did you go last? <laughs> Actually, could have had I'm over here killing my dinosaur. Well, that's not her. I'll, I'll ride Seven. my that's fair. dino that's fair. up to where you're hanging and just kind of like untangle you and plop you behind <laughs> you. Know, I, come down. I, uh, I'm playing back Hemp's uh, call. So oh like, yeah, <laughs> playing it back when I'm doing like the Chris Pratt like <laughs> hand out thing to it. Yeah, this will also be animal handling. Okay. I, I like that a lot. All right, well, <laughs> that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can still add all of your it's, modifiers. It starts trying to, to so make you be, uh, <laughs> five. Five? Yeah, no. You walk up <laughs> and <six>. you're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a fucking all run away from you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I think I got an extra one for you. Yep. And for Fori, if, if you're on the back of his, right? You mean, I think Fori has one. Yeah, but I'll, oh, okay, no I'll, stu I'll stumble my way over to it because all the blood still rushed to my head. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> very clean. Function. Falls from the tree. <laughs> you have all found a way to get a raptor, and you now have transport to Paradise Jungle, and you head off in the direction of the jungle itself. After going for quite some time, you arrive at the greenery, 
And at the base floor, where usually all the portal folk would be working in the fields here, you know, fielding a bunch of, or farming bananas uh, to give to the apes, but all the portal folk seem to be gone. They're, they're not here. Um, and also, all of the elevators are raised. So you'll have to find some way to either get an elevator down or find a way to get yourselves up into the canopy. You who's with can us. I, yeah. can you I, who is with you. Can I fly up and drop the elevator? Yep. You still <laughs> can. <laughs> the world is now a different place. You guys see, what, what do your wings look like? These are your new wings. Yeah, I think these are not... They don't have, like, any kind of energy. They're more just, like... Like um, physical feathers. Yeah, wings. they're, like, feathery. Like, kind of maybe, like, white angelic feather wings. And I'll just, like, kind of crouch down and they'll sprout. And I'll just, like, <laughs> and, like jump up. Yeah, you fly straight up to the canopy. You guess it's, like, some hundred of feet. And you get to the top. And where that hulking beast was, you know, pulling them up and down, you just see, like, a stick jammed into uh, the cogwheel that usually pulls the rope and you're able to unfasten it, but you will have to pull the rope to bring him back up. All, right. All the elevators are powered by monkeys. So now you are going to have to be monkey. Can I bring somebody up with me to help me uh, pull yeah, everybody sure. else? Yeah. Who, who am I capable of carrying? That's well, true. We know you've carried me. So usually movement that you have, if you want to take someone with you, it would be at half speed. So you can realistically take anybody, I think. Oh, grab shark. You scoop shark up you and fly really slowly up yeah, to the top. Yeah, fly really slow, but you get up there <laughs> like and you guys bumblebee. are able to <laughs> let down the elevator. And then once everybody climbs on, you're able to tug it up. I'd make you do a check, but I don't know. I'm very any scared way to fail of flying, it. so I cling to him the whole time. <laughs> and I'm shaking. Artists, I need that. I need that. <laughs> I need that. Okay, you guys are all up in the canopy and. By the center tree, you see a lot of commotion. You see a bunch of portal folk and a bunch of apes that are all kind of like shouting together. Um, and that's what's in front of you. All of the buildings are still here, but they're just empty. What's going on here? Yeah, where is everybody? You who? You got any idea what the fuck's happening? Uh, the humans don't have a leader, so I'm expecting uh, that we're preparing for them to probably roll over us. Yeah. Or try to. I mean, yes, you're right. I am. You're okay, you will. Let's calm down. Yeah. Um, why don't... So there, there's a few buildings, right? Mm-hmm. There, there's a bar here, if I remember yeah. correctly. Why don't, why don't you fucking little fellas go on into the bar and get that, that glass of scotch going? I'll stay out here well, with We've got to get rid of this scotch idea. We're just gonna... I'll stay here with you who... While you go pour the bottle of scotch for his dad. For his dad, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. You who's kind of like weirded out? Yeah, I guess. I thought that you had one with you, but you just... The way that we present scotch in our culture is very different. Right. <laughs> there's, a, there's a ritual. Okay. Go do their thing. I guess we'll wait. Okay, let's get in that bar. Let's All right. You look like scotch. Okay. You're, you're, how's your day going? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Fucking dive through a window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you three, you two walk into the bar and you dive through a window, shattering it <laughs> to, to go in. And Clear. you're in an empty hookah bar that has a full stock, you know, bar of alcohols. I'm going to grab some scotch. I'm going to pour a little bit so it looks like the glass is appropriately missing. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get in here. Yeah. All right. And then I'll go in there. <laughs> and then I'll be kind of like, you're still very blue. You don't really match the color. Pour some extra scotch on me to. I got it. And I pull out bitters and I just start. <laughs> I'm like, not there. <laughs> not there. I'm in the back. I'm kicking doors in. <laughs> He's clearing the place. Clear. We're clear. Any, all righty. Well, I think this looks good enough. Smells rank, but it looks good enough. Yeah. I put the cap back on. You guys walk out, except Hugh is nowhere to be seen. I backflip out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Perfect. Oh, hey, guys. You know? Welcome back. Yeah. He's in the bathroom again. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's you know it's you know <laughs> urinary tract infections yeah. going crazy. <laughs> he, he keeps doing that thing. Give him a UTI. Wow, you guys are like really open with each other about this kind of stuff, huh? <laughs> you ever heard of sounding? Okay. Oh, I don't oh, want to go anywhere. Dolly, oh, you don't have any real friends. <laughs> Luckily, you got us. <laughs> yeah, thank God we're here. Yeah. 
All right, you want to take us to go see your dad? You know what? I'll do anything to not speak to any of you right now. Okay, let's go on up there. He turns and you guys start walking towards the massive crowd and they are... <laughs> they're, no, they're, not I believe it. I, they are please cheering please. and screaming in like, they're prepping for war and all the portal folk that are usually workers are like hoisting their pitchforks very literally above their head, like ready for when the humans come here and they are just all saying like, we're gonna slaughter them all. And just like, yeah. They're absolutely unhinged at this point. And they're just all in the central area, just like partying it up before the killing times. I'm gonna slowly hunger to the back and kind of grab the glass from him real quick and just kind of whisper into it. Do you ever feel like we're on the wrong side of this thing? Nope. nope. <laughs> no, I'm looking like into it as you just shake your head. There are no, <laughs> there are no white sides to war. <laughs> just the one that's remembered. <laughs> oh shit. That's a cool one. And I'm gonna give the glass back to him and be like, okay. <laughs> Keep you on. just talk to that glass? No, I was actually talking to him, but I just wanted to make smelling sure. Smelling it? That, yeah. Yeah, smell it. Make sure it looks stuff. good, too. Sure. He doesn't drink. He just smells. Yeah. Uh, he he loves the smell of alcohol. The, the fumes. Hey, you guys were thinking about talking to Strite. You know, I bet you he's back here at this point if he didn't get killed in the wastes. We Do you need to talk to Strite. I don't yeah. know Strite would want to see us right now. Yeah, we did a few things with him. I mean, I you. I mean, he didn't follow us on the Raptors, so I figured... Okay, I mean, that's fine. Do you think he would have a banana that your dad would like? Uh, yeah, he cooks for my dad, so I figured he would. Forgot we wanted one of those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it'd be way too old with just scotch. I would. I'm gonna huddle the team real quick. <laughs> <laughs> huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. You guys remember what we did to to strike last time we saw him, right? I do. Okay. Well, you guys is a very general term for what happened to him. What I don't think him? he's gonna be super jazzed. <laughs> to see us. I don't know how he jumped off that raptor last time. Yeah, she's out of nowhere. Yeah. So I don't know that we did anything, actually. It happened so fast. Wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Why don't you tell us? He just... <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what happened? Oh, I, he just kind of flew off the raptor and we left him. I'll be honest, I feel like we do a lot worse to a lot more people and they usually take it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> like wait, wait. Me so, out so out of, not in character, I'm not using my accent. Yeah. You guys didn't see me kick him off. Right. And I'm yeah. feigning Correct. that I did not yeah. remember. Right. Because yeah. I actually don't remember. Yeah. And I guess he would. So, so why no. would he be? He wouldn't know us? either. But he would nobody be here would know that he would be upset. But we saw him go off the raptor, well, and we did leave him. him. Yeah, so they didn't leave him. You're inferring that he went back to paradise jungle because he was upset with us. And if he's here, he's pissed. Or, or just okay. that there's some place to go back. Okay. To. Right. Yeah, we oh, did yeah. just leave him stranded in the middle. Yeah, of yeah. 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 Just stranded. Yeah. In the no, no, because the way it was is there was a fork, a fork in the road, and I kicked him the other way, and it maybe you guys. He did say last time we saw him fall. Off. Yeah. We yeah. So you oh, kick him. oh okay. yeah. He, he okay. I didn't know he fell out. Okay. Okay. So we very much left him in the dust. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Back in the back. Cut. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, so maybe he just like in. you took a tumble as he was trying to go back home. No, he's gonna be super pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka! I'm gonna be. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's. Where's the, I need that in my ringtone. I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at Woohoo and be like, "You can't hear us right now." <laughs> yeah, just making up names. Like, you can't hear us right now, can you? What? You okay? Yeah. I'm gonna be like, since he's in here, he's not gonna. Strite's not going to see him, but he's the one that Strite wants to see and impress. So it can be like, he felt so bad after everything that happened at Dino Rodeo, he, we came to apologize for him. Mm. And we're like, we would love to take back one of your delicious banana desserts. Give him a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? I think we should do that. Good idea. Plan. Wow, we're enacting a plan in <laughs> one attempt. Let's go do it. Let's try it. Why are we going to go see Strite? You guys walk through the crowd of, you know, rioting apes and people, uh, and you get to the restaurant, Le Banana, and you go to the, the kitchen in the back, and Stride is there, and he's fucking cooking up a storm with his uh, capuchin monkeys, and he turns and he looks at you all, and he goes, ah, I see you've returned. Why did you, um, you know, leave me to die out in the wastes? We didn't want to leave you out. In the, we saw your little capuchins come and get you and take you back to safety. So we assumed you wanted to go back to the jungle. I mean, I definitely like it here, but you know it was. I'm, it hurt my bottom. 
fall on that, right? <laughs> yeah, I understand that, but I'm gonna keep it a stack with you right now. <laughs> we need <laughs> <laughs> our man, he, you know, the blue man, uh, the blue yes, jelly man, he so. feels just terrible after what he did and trying to make you really? and the woman kill each other. I somehow disbelieve that he feels well, he killed. couldn't even face you. Look, he's not here. I guess that's true. Yeah, but you know, so he, he did confide in us that he really loved your little dirt special. But if you could make him a little banana dessert or something, we could take back for him. I realized he never it. tried your delicacy. Roll up persuasion check with advantage. Um, eighteen and a six, so eighteen. <laughs> you kind of get finished t- talking, and he like turns around, and you can. I can do this in real life. This is you kind of like. Bless <laughs> <laughs> you. Know, I would be um, happy to send you off with something of mine to uh, give to your friend. And do you have any more of that little pudding cup you gave me last time? Yes, it's our almost bouche. And he turns to a tray, and it's just like or, uh, one of those metal carts, and it's just stacked top to bottom with all those little ramekins. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's called an amazing douche. <laughs> you just gotta, I'm just going to eat it. Yep. Go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw for me, my friend. So, uh, you know, minded. let's give him something he hasn't tried before. Like, what is the Don's favorite dish? He's Yeah. 23. Yeah. Now you are able to fully experience the, the presence of flavor and... It is still quite overwhelming, but man. I'm sorry for this, but I come in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Just instantly. Why do you wearing pants? No, I wear pants. I'm not Winnie the Pooh. He's a lawyer. <laughs> We're sitting here having the discussion. Yeah. Like, what the Don? Get him what the Don? Oh my. What the Don do? <laughs> oh, Lord. Excuse, <laughs> excuse me. Go, please continue. Yeah, yeah, just whatever the dawn likes. Hopefully it doesn't have that reaction. He thinks for a moment and uh, he... Turns around. Oh man, what is the Don's favorite food? Maybe I should have had this written somewhere in some notes. I think that uh, Strike really slowly and carefully prepares a meal and he brings it out to you after it's done. And it's of course all made of banana, but it looks like a fresh caught fish that is like roasted and it has a bunch of seasoning on top and on a bed of rice and vegetables. And he goes, it's been some time since the dog has had this, so I figure good go around. I love that somehow we've gotten to a point where the magic banana chef is not the one we choose. <laughs> it's not, he's not the good. random girl with the ear headphones. Yeah, we're so. equal opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> that's a really good point. So, all right, sorry. Oh, damn it, we got title nine. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, God, I'm yeah. gonna take it. I'm gonna be like, Seven, can you keep this warm? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he puts it in my oven. That's always been there the whole time. That's my modular easy bake. <laughs> exactly. It's so perfect. Well, we got we to gotta hurry. We don't want that to overcook. Yeah, we get let's it. get on up there. So, thank you. You guys Thanks, walk Strite. up to the uh, the front of the building. So, yeah, Strite waves you off, but he's a disrespectful uh a ragatan, mm-hmm. and you walk into the large central tree, and walking all the way up to the top, you who knocks onto the the door, and he goes, "Pops, I'm home, and I brought your you know buddies, kind of." And the bark parts, and you see inside of his office, and Don Bonbon is sitting at a desk, like really, you could tell he's really cooking up some mm-hmm. thoughts in his brain. I'll do it. And he goes, <laughs> uh, "Yes, let them in." And he invites you guys inside, and you who is going to follow behind you. Um, can I <laughs> bring out Maximo? Sure. And I'll be like, "Hey, you who, look at this!" And kind of like try to distract him away from the room, <laughs> <laughs> the whole room. Yeah, I did, like try to keep him outside. outside. Yeah, we're okay, gonna like, sure. go hang out. We're gonna go hang out. out for Let's that. make this has to be a check of some kind because yeah. holy fuck, I willingly get distracted. And I pull off my shoe because I, I show it to Maximo. But it's the on fire shoe. It's, on, it's still on okay. Fire. The double. Okay, friend. Let's do a a double. Hmm. Is this? I fall for it. Persuasion? I'm like I'm like willing. No, no, no. He's getting okay. advantage because of your assistance. Okay. Um, persuasion or deception, whichever you feel is most uh, suitable for this scenario. Okay, it's definitely persuasion and advantage with Foray's help. 
<clears throat> 24. I just realized that I needed to roll too. You who goes, that's, that's really good stuff. Can I, I've got an itch that only an ape can scratch. If you would give me like, you know, five minutes with my pops. I mean, you guys can talk, but I'll check out this thing in a little bit. The connection between father and is son that, is very good. Is that cool? That looks really cool though. Should we should we leave the food and drink with them while they're chatting? He kind of knuckle walks over to his dad yeah. and they yeah. talk a little bit. And then you who sits on the ground in front of him and Don Bon Bon starts picking through his hair and like picking bugs out. We can, this is kind of a beautiful moment if you guys want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Just like... I, I think maybe we leave the food and drink for Don Bon Bon and we can wait outside while they have their moment. Hmm. And I'm going to quietly whisper to the drink and be like, which do you prefer? Sit me down. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hey, Don, I know we got off on the wrong foot last time, but we've got a special surprise for you. We know you love scotch, so I'm going to set the bottle and hew down on the table mm-hmm. next to him. I'll be like, and we also got... From Sorry, Shister. one second. Ding. Okay. <laughs> no, <perfect. laughs> from Chef Stride. It's this. <laughs> he didn't tell us the name. You can put it down on my desk. That's very thoughtful of you all. No, of course. Just put it we'll just desk. be out with you when you're done. Sure. Okay, just scream whenever you're done. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you hear uh, from a distance Don Bon Bon and you who's speaking, but you are close enough to hear their conversation. <gasps> And you who sits down and he's getting picked at and he goes, things are not looking good, Pops. They're not looking good. And the Don goes, you know, you, there's going to be a day when things are rough. You know, this isn't going to be the prettiest time. And it's likely that at some point I'm not going to be around anymore to protect you, to protect our people. And he goes, don't talk like that, Pops. He goes, I'm serious. If I'm, you know, done away with in this fight against these humans and their greed, just, it'll be on you. And you're ready for this. And you who kind of like, he's got to get emotional. And he goes, eh, that'll never happen. And they finish picking through and the Don goes, all right, go get your friends. I got to talk to them anyway. And you who knuckle walks out and, uh, Let's see the rest of you guys back in. Hey, you, how are you doing? You know, it's challenging time, but no. they can do. It's tough for all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some more than others. I mean, you know, portal folk, I don't really know where you guys are going to go after this. I don't know how the world's going to shake out, but I do wish the best for you guys. I, mm-hmm. you, I don't say this lightly. I think you are my best friend. <laughs> That means a lot. Yeah. You really, I've watched you grow over these past four days and it's been. <laughs> you know what? I have a feeling that there's a chance that we're not going to see each other again. Maybe for a long time, maybe yeah. not. Uh-huh. And he goes down and he unlaces his Jordans. <gasps> and he gives you his red shoes. You know, this is the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. Yeah, I was lying before. I have like 20 pairs. <laughs> <laughs> but these are the ones that I've been wearing for the last like month. Right. They're very nice. They are. I'm gonna put them on my feet. Hey, real quick, can you magic trick these for me? I'll detect the magic. I'll be like, Whoa. okay. <laughs> you cast detect magic. Oh, you know what? I was gonna make these normal, but how do you feel about boots of striding and springing? <laughs> so good, right? Oh, perfect you, you have to yeah. wear them on like one big toe, though. No, I feel they like you who's pretty big, you know. Also, <laughs> magic. Magic items readjust to fit uh, whoever. Okay. Their wall size fits all, maybe. Also, it'd be cool because, like, he's a double dragon. <laughs> yeah. So it's like he wouldn't have known that they were magical. Yeah, shoes. I mean, he I already could I think it'd be yeah. funnier if his feet changed to fit the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> shrink down. Yeah. He's wearing, like, he's wearing, like, the toddler <laughs> shoes. Yeah, perfect. Too limited to. Sweet. Um, there are boots of striding and springing, which you tell him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's, like, double jump distance is, like, just what it is. Triple. Triple jump. What a headache. 
Yeah. What a headache. I that? mean, he has infinite flying. We're doomed. You're an actor, actually, <laughs> like, we're already actually, in the yeah. toilet. In a, what's it called? Um, Space Jam, where the aliens pop through, and they're like, giant, that's literally you. Who yeah. Dunk down. Hell yeah. This is, this is a great day for me. Should I try and get you to show me the rest of his shoe collection? So he's... I think, you know you... Stewie loves shoes. I do. Yeah. I'm a girl. You know us <laughs> girls and shoes. Yeah, but we were best friends. I know, and I would never want to take that away from you, but I would just love to see your, your collection. Okay, roll roll persuasion. <laughs> but, you know, you guys haven't gotten a lot of magic items this hour. <laughs> Let's see if you can squeeze some blood from the stone. 24. Oh. <laughs> he goes, okay, look, you guys have been real nice to me, and I mean real nice. I was in the rodeo, didn't get killed. That counts for something. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. And he kind of No, can I come off. with you? Yeah, I want to come with you. It's, yeah, sure. Oh, can we take your little fire guy? I wanted to look at him. Yeah, I'll give him the mix of it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, sure, that too. Remember, Stuart. Can I keep this for my collection? Yes. Absolutely. Cool. Remember that thing you like to do where you like to take the soul out of every shoe and smell it mm-hmm. and tell him about which one's your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Don't worry. This will take a long time. He says he's got 20 pairs of shoes. Yeah, this is... This should be a lot of fun. I kind of had one in mind for you. Wait, you, should, sure. you, should, you should show him right now. <laughs> show him. There's my shoe. Take out the sole. <laughs> Not that oh. one. <laughs> Not that one. No, but... I've already smelled that one. <laughs> That's, what? In my sleep? <laughs> Come on, you who Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. And he, he knuckle walks away with you in tow. Um, yeah, I think uh, there's another set of boots that I think he'll he'll find for you. I'm not even wanting the boots. It's just to take get him out of the room so he doesn't see his power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am fully aware. Uh, your gonna... got you a magic item, though, I think. <laughs> I, just want, yeah. I just wanted your character to stiff my character's shoe <laughs> and, that in front happen. of everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that would be kind of a funny prank. Yeah, very, very funny. <laughs> And it's um, just like, I hope I get a pair. I'll be him, jump boat. <laughs> Damn. I feel like I have to give you that was these. pretty good. That was pretty good. That's a, that's a cool point. Oh, <laughs> hemp jump boat goes crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry to put the <laughs> the cool point, you know, task on I'm you. Good, I'm good with that. Make it cool. Though. Okay, sure. Can we get the meme of like SpongeBob and Patrick dunking, but it's him? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's yeah. him. Going over. <laughs> or the one where it's the Among Us guy showing off his Jordans. <laughs> Yeah, you uh, follow you who back to his room, and he has a bunch of sets of shoes, and a lot of them are Red Jordans or other brands. <clears throat> Excuse my cough. But he brings one set out to you specifically, and they're more like um, uh, calf, like mid calf high red combat boots. Sick. And he goes, uh, These, I think. You know, I haven't really worn them in forever because the leather squeaks and my legs are too short for them. But if you want, you can have them. I'd love them. Thank you so much. Uh, these are boots of speed, which you can use your bonus action to take the dash action. So you'll get to run an extra 30 feet uh, using a BA. Wow. Amazing. Mm-hmm. All right. People who are not in the uh, in the shoe warehouse. <laughs> hey, Don. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, we just really wanted to say thank you for not killing us last time, and I'm sorry we get off got off on the wrong foot. I'm gonna hand him the glass, and I'm gonna open the bottle myself and hold the bottle. The glass has been there. Yeah, yeah. He just yeah, I'm, I'm giving oh, it, like oh, I'm putting it in his hand. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to maybe use a little pressed digitation to get his throat maybe a little parched. Ooh, no, make him want to try and take a sip. He looks at you and he says, "You know that really does mean a lot." And he goes to take a sip, but he stops and he goes, you know, you all are not like the other porno folk that have been here. And a lot of them, they're pretty happy to just subsist, to stay here. But you guys are much more explosive. You killed Madame Wesley from what I hear. Maybe. Quite a gambit. I really hope that you have some way of either protecting my people or stopping the humans or figuring something out because it's very possible you've just doomed us all to war. Yeah, we've got some plans to take care of all the people. Get them fed, make sure they don't kill each other. Is it have to do with Joey Peanuts? I heard he also is dead, but that his hot dogs have been popping up everywhere. Completely unrelated. Such a shame what happened to that man. He had pneumonia. 
<laughs> Nobody caught it. Wow. You yeah. yeah. started calling him Joey Pneumonia. He raises the glass to, to Joey. To Joey. Clink. Mm. Throws it back. That tasted weird. Yeah, it's a special one that. Yeah, it's. Time. I was cooking something up. That one's a uh, bad. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> you gave me bad scotch for fun. I didn't try to. I just, I was trying to mix them up for you, and Q. I just didn't taste it myself. You are in your natural environment. So. Yeah, when well, you're bad, <laughs> bad, badass drink. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's the good stuff. Gotcha. It just tastes a little funny. Mm, big ass into flavor. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Speaking of where's where's you? Where we Remember, he couldn't say sh- strike, and he felt uh, so yeah, bad. Wait, where is he? And I, I like storm out of the room because I have no idea what's going on. Yep, he runs away. Um, I'd like to, in my the meantime, try to find like where they hide their weapons. Sure. <laughs> roll investigation, and what, let's get our roll going, huh? Athletics for me, and yep. I just nat rolled a, yeah. a nat twenty. Oh, oh, nat, oh. nat twenty as well. Let's go. That's tell funny. me, tell me how it looks. Uh, so I'm gonna do this kind of like in Total Recall, where that like baby pops out of the dude's chest. So I just oh. straight up Don Bon Bon. Yep. And I'm, I'm gonna squatting on the table with my goggles down. I punch the window at the front door and I scream sniper and I hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see as he kind of like recoils back with you extending out of his chest, and he kind of falls forward and he goes. <laughs> I probably deserve that for something. <laughs> and then he falls down dead. Can you blend in with the blood? Or is your ability like puddleize? Can you blend it with other liquids? Well, I'm, I'm fully solid. I, I know, I'm saying can you. I don't know. I don't think I have camouflaging tech. <laughs> but That's why I had to pour a thousand bitters on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe someday. One, Maybe one someday. Day. Like an octopus. Your serial screenplay sort of vibrates in anticipation of this action. Um, and when you flip it open, there is a page that says, what do you want to know? And it's a yes or no question. And if you'd like, you can do it now or you can wait it out, but before the session is over. Looks well, like some really valuable intel. I don't want to waste it. Talk it through with the I team. I think you should wait yeah, we until do. we're done. Because I feel like there's, we, we pretty much know what's going on right now. This is a yes or no question about anything. So it's one yes or no question. The the weight of this s- screenplay almost feels like a museum type item. Mm. Like it is not from here. It is from, it's like you guys, it's from somewhere else. And it is good. All right, so I ask it, that three-year-old I killed, he, he deserved it, didn't he? <laughs> An Someone excellent test. That. Wow, you're throwing a lot on me, Drew, to answer this question. <laughs> In fancy black ink script, Yes. Told you guys. <laughs> Fully justified. You know, I throw it behind me and it vaporizes. <laughs> Good thing. There's nothing we want to know. Yep. Yep. Um, the Wait, screenplay wait. is going to stay usable in the next arc. Oh, and cool. you will receive... Vaporizes and yeah, no. And it comes right back. back in my head. Yeah. You try to be like, I'm the DC. Oh. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> um, at any point, you'll be receiving different... Things that the screenplay will either predict or I'm give glad to you. we I'm glad we executed a man so you can know if the person you executed was worth <laughs> executing. Yeah, now the next one we have to ask if Don Don Bon Bon does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and thus the cycle away. continues. Um, I'm assuming how far are they in this closet? They are in like a whole other building. This is Don Bon Bon's office. Oh, so they are at they their haven't house. even heard this. Yeah, no, not even close. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> can you well, talk with Maximo? Even how though far? There is a limit to that, and it is farther than what you guys are at right now. Yeah. Why don't we, I'm going to real quick, help get under Dawn's head. Hold him. Like okay. you were talking to him in his dying breath. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i got to set up a scene. Okay. I liked your whole sniper thing. I think that's yep. good. Yep, so, so glass is broken. Um, and I'm going to. Wait, Ferrari's outside, right? Nowhere near you guys. I'm searching for a quarter master. That's true. He's searching for weapons. Anybody have their gun? <clears throat> on the giant crap. I'm gonna grab a like sort of rock or like stone thing, something you can throw. I'm gonna throw it to you. And I'm gonna be like, okay, on the count of three, throw it through that window, okay. the other window. Two and I'm gonna, windows. I'm gonna be ready. I have minor illusion, and I'm like, now. And as soon as it hits the window, I'm gonna make like a gunshot sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! Does, does nobody have their gun? 
I don't think we have. Have you brought yeah. the gun from the ship? I know he No, I haven't. Well, you have, you have a pistol. pistol blaster. Yeah, okay. yes. We can just make it seem no. like there was someone yeah, yeah. in the trees. Yeah. Hey, guys, uh, you make a gun sound, but they're still way off in the distance. So I'm going to put my head and be like, they're not here. It is. I'm just. Oh. It's fine. We just want plausible deniability. Okay. Which one of us is the best at lying? <laughs> that should be me. Yeah. No. You should go and get them. Right, I'm gonna <laughs> tell them. Tell them that he's I'll been smash. shot. Yeah, so. shot and killed. Man-sized holes. <laughs> 50 cal. Yeah. It was four 50 cal there was together. A tank. There was a yeah. pirate ship that shot a cannon. <laughs> yeah. The can seem material around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you uh, you go and you find them at uh, their house. And it's easy enough to do. They're all looking through shoes. Am I covered in blood or am I cleaned up? I mean, you can be cleaned up if you'd like. No, I'll be covered in blood. Okay. <laughs> That's the better choice. See? Uh-huh. Smell great. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so glad that full circle. Are you, are you like face deep in some shoes right now? Yeah. Or do you pull on the soles? I'm just like nervously looking over my shoulder waiting for somebody. Yep. He bursts in. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt the party, but we got some bad news. Oh my God. Don Bon Bon's been killed. Holy oh shit. Oh my God. Deception. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not lying. He hasn't lied yet. Yeah, but I know where this is going. No. It's a 21. 21? <laughs> sure. 21. 21. How? What? How? He made a deal with a shadow figure a while ago when he tried to assassinate us. And since it was unsuccessful, the shadow figure came back and exacted revenge. <gasps> Five 50 cal rounds right to his fucking ape chest. Holy <laughs> shit, that seems like such overkill. <laughs> Unbelievable overkill. Let's go. We had to go. Yeah, you, we got to You got to see it. He fucking <laughs> sprints. <laughs> yeah, he sprints. No, it's just like the shock. Like it's. Yeah. Like, you think he were, but it's shock. Yeah. I, I have tears down my eyes when you get there. I'm like, yo. I'm at the door. You're clear. Yeah. Go in. Oh god. <laughs> and yeah, he runs up. I like. I like to think when he comes in, we've organized ourselves as like one of those, um, like Renaissance paintings where they're holding like <laughs> things. Yeah. So we're all like doing these really dramatic poses. <laughs> yes, we're all, like, I'm doing funny. chest compressions <laughs> in the hole. Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to bring oh, you back. God damn it! I knew you'd be so. <laughs> oh fuck! And he just looks out. And he goes, "Oh shit! I super thought it was not gonna be this bad, but holy <laughs> fuck, it's horrible." That's like, oh god. See, Maybe he's still there, and I start slapping him with my mage hand slapping him from the other side. So I'm just fucking beat. No, no, what are you doing? I'm, I'm like holding you, who back. Let him work. Let him work. <laughs> no. <laughs> if only Furry was here, we need electricity. <laughs> oh God. You who faints. <laughs> he's just absolutely tortured right now. Okay, oh now my God. What? Yeah. All right. Now. Um... Wow. This I is wrap way up. worse than I thought was going to happen. But you should have seen it. So what, what was the question that you asked, you? Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was We got one. some good information? Oh, we yeah. know everything now. Yep. Great. It's okay. probably best we keep it to ourselves. Yeah, your shoe-smelling sacrifice was so worth <laughs> so it. It was not in vain. Killing the leader of the free world at the moment was worth it. Okay, perfect. Oh. What's next? Okay, Madam Wesley's dead. He's dead. I think we're we could just full reset. Oh, like, I mean, yeah, we can just find someone else to be king. Kind of unite the two. 4A, what was your investigation? 20. We rolled that 20 the exact same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You are walking through the canopy and you find a building that looks very unassuming, but your tactical mind recognizes it that they're trying very hard to keep this place secret. And you open up and it is a weapons cache. Although they don't have firearms, they have a lot of like slinging weapons and they do have blades of metal they have a lot of spears detect magic you detect magic oh man a monkey weapon god damn squeezing me for more magic items i'm so son, afraid give me that son goku, oh, goku staff like son goku to give them i mean <laughs> son goku staff I, i've been meaning to give you guys magic items That's this whole fair. time but i've kind of gotten lost in the dino <laughs> rodeo you yep. know it's easy to get swept away by my own story <laughs> as as one does yeah um, I'll say that you do find a weapon that has magic on it, but it's hard to uh, exactly. I'm, I'm getting messages or looks. You pray for the staff of the python. Oh yeah, but it's a banana. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> staff. I banana. swear, you gotta get troll me, brother. I, if you give me this banana staff, you get a magic staff. You aren't able to discern what the magic does, but it is magic. Yoink! Transmutation magic. Okay, are there any like locked doors around me? Like nah, this whole place is open. It's really dumb. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
<clears throat> I walk out. Does anybody see me? Everyone is all in the center of the, the tree area. So not really. Fuck yeah. Cool. I guess I make my way back with this new staff. Easy enough. You rejoin everyone and you see Don Bon Bon fucking eviscerated. <laughs> I pull out the gun. No idea what the fuck happened. Nobody <laughs> like told me. And I just fucking start clearing shit and I'm like running. Is there an upstairs? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I've got your six. I'm at the window like, looking for the <laughs> yeah. sniper. It's Who just... the fuck did this? We gotta find him. We didn't see. You shot right through the window. Right through the fucking window? <laughs> Pow! It started firing off. Yep. You shoot through the window. You've get, you've almost got him. No, no, no. Like, like, like mag dumping. Oh, yeah. Almost got him. It's the tactics you've learned in sailing school. Just fire at nothing. He said he was outside. I trusted I trusted your call out, brother. Well, he shot through the window. We don't know where he is now. Yeah, he probably ran away by now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah now we scared, scared him off. We did it. Uh, I'm going to go over and kind of slap you who away. Uh, uh, what? what? You who? It was all a bad dream. You just <laughs> fine. I use minor illusion to make his chest look like it's full. <laughs> like, <laughs> he turns and he goes, Oh my god, why is he knocked out? Why is there blood everywhere? I need you to listen to me, you uh, yeah. You don't have time. You are the new king okay. of Paradise Jungle. You mean the Don? Yes. I thought that was his name. No. His no, name is Bon Bon. Bon The Don is his rank. What's your last name? We don't have last names. What the fuck? I thought you were Yuhu Bon Bon. <laughs> we're monkeys. Okay. I'm sorry, sorry. Don Yuhu. Uh, Don Yuhu. The old Don is dead. Long live the Don. <laughs> We're long, we're on a second story, right? Like we're yeah, you're uh, elevated, and there's a bunch of people down in the courtyard. Uh-huh. I'm gonna walk out with you, who uh. I'm gonna yell down and be like, "The dawn is dead." The entire populace goes silent. Uh-huh. Somebody shot him, and we don't have time to panic. Don Yuhu will lead us to victory. There, oh, wow. this is your Lion King moment. Yep, they're all quiet. <gasps> And Don Yuhu looks over the crowd. Say something. I'm giving up. What do I say? Tell them that you're here. You got this. You just give them a speech. See if you can not kill the humans, too. If I can win. See if he'll not kill the humans. He goes, too. we're going to kill the humans. No. And everyone goes, whoa. Yeah. I really don't care about did Kenny. I do it? Did I do yeah, it? Just what? Rather, can you take that back, maybe? Wait, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe tell them we're not going to kill them yet. Let's Wait. try to figure something out. You're going to feed them all. Wait, you have bananas. But not yet. And they all kind of oh, went quiet again. So he had his fingers <laughs> crossed behind his back when he said that. He say, didn't mean it. Say you were just kidding. We got to talk about this. Let them know you were joking. No, I fucking, this is a lot of people. They're going to kill me. if Wow, I that's a really good point. We've gotten too far. You're the king. Let kill the humans. Yeah, I mean, actually, you can kill the humans. He turns and he looks down and he goes, the humans are going to come to us. And you all need to prepare. Yeah. And they all kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> that's good. No, that's really good. So, all right, we got through this together, yeah, guys. Okay, how about this? Yeah, you yeah. kill these humans to satiate their bloodlust, but there's some other cool humans that we could work with. It's not humans. There's no humans here. That's portal folk. Oh, wait, oh, humans. Wait, wait, we don't want to kill Hold the portal on. folk. That's <laughs> going to kill the portal folk. Tell them they're humans. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa. wait, yeah, not a, but up, not us. What are you doing? I'm getting lost. You know, this dialogue is happening. I'm too excited. I look at, I look at the dawn. I have a tool, it's a gunshot. There are no guns. I've seen the armory. I grab the gun. I go, fuck, it was me. And I just start running outside uh-huh. straight to the new Don. I go, I'm the one who killed him. I have the only gun CQC. Here. <laughs> CQC. CQC. And he's halfway through a word and you just hear CQC. Yeah, I think he kind of pulls you away and you have the gun and you who looks... That gun is so small for how big the hole in his no, chest looks. No, that's the thing. I have crazy. He shot like 25 I, guns. I'm a crazy. He's, I'm so ugh. sorry. CQC. You, see. <laughs> you so again. tell him what happens. Yeah, tell him. Yes. Yeah, but we can't in front of you. You go to me somewhere else. else. Yeah. How do you say? From the gun. He's nope. just so just stressed. Take, just take right. him back He's inside. I'm going to go over for Ray and bring him inside. tell him what happens. I'd like to contest. I am. I like my moral compass is what like. I mean, you guys can wrestle if you You guys are fucked up. I'm not. I'm a monk now. Come I see. That's, that does make me good. Did you say you who passed out? Yep, he's fainted. Oh, okay. Gotta wake him up. I gotta tell we him what I did. We killed him. We killed him. <laughs> Why do we kill the dog? 
We said we were, his, we were his friend. No, we had to kill him. I'm going to start kind we, of like shouting. They're still having the conversation, but I start yelling to the people <laughs> over them so they don't hear yeah. us yeah. confessing yeah. everything. Yeah. Let's go inside the house. Right, like a megaphone. Oh, a megaphone. Out. I'm like, guys. Oh, inside the house, I'll clear it. Let's go. Yeah, perfect. Like the, the, the dawn is dead, but you guys didn't kill him. And I choose to believe the humans didn't do it either. I think it was a secret third thing <laughs> that we are sure to find out. The dinosaurs. I, I, I told I told him that it was the shadow guy. I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. honestly the best way to do yeah, it. Yeah, we'll never catch that guy. Right so I think you guys should team up with the humans to find this here goofy shadow guy who killed the Don. Yeah, the shadow guy fucked up Dino Rodeo too. And Donatello's mad. What if you guys work together with Donatello? I've never been called a shadow guy in my life. You guys, you it could take... I, there's only one gun here. No, somebody. You know what? Somebody shot a sniper rifle. I, no, I'm no, crazy. It was, it, it it was, was me, goddammit. Does yours have a laser pointer on it? It could take thousands of years for you guys to catch it. <laughs> I think you guys would have, have to work pointer? perfectly no. in unison the gun had for a red laser eons in order to catch this you guy. He starts waking up and he goes, okay, what's up? He's telling me that the gun had a laser pointer. And his doesn't. I need believe. to know if I believe this or not. And it's sure it's you okay. can roll deception. You can roll insight. Please. This will be perfect. Roll deception. You're the one who's lying. All the I gotta stop deceiving people. I rolled a three. Got I rolled a twelve. <laughs> Good. Got it. The the mystery is solved. It couldn't have been you. Your hands are clean. And I'm gonna take them and put them on my chest and just start rubbing the back <laughs> of his head and be like, "It wasn't you. It's okay. It's okay." I killed the guy. No, uh, you who kind of starts waking up and he goes, "Is that is that true? Some weird fucking shadow guy?" Yes. Yeah, that's what, I, you, that's yeah. what I told you, man. They, uh, oh, God, you're right. Um, he he kind of takes the megaphone microphone. He goes, we're going to fight a shadow guy. Uh, I'm really tired. My head hurts and I feel really sad. <laughs> and all the people who are like, they're like kind of leaving to go prepare. And now they're kind of listening. <laughs> and he goes, just, I don't know, just get ready. Or like, I don't know. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> all the people down there are like. What is happening? What's going on? What's yeah, interesting strategy. People up here are like that too. Yeah, yeah. I think we did a great job today. <laughs> I think we um, did real. We got the answers we were looking for. Yep. Uh, <laughs> hey, if I, Not if you guys are serious about this shadow guy and you think that me and the humans can work something out, I mean, they need a leader first. I know a human you can talk to. Okay. Yeah, um, she's a scientist and she also could possibly solve the food crisis. Was that the that fancy off? lady the, on the boat? Yeah, the yeah. thing is, we might need to inspect the giant banana. Oh, shit. But you're the Don, so you can give us permission. And yeah. you can trust us. We've never done Why anything wrong to you. Banana? The last thing I want to do is destabilize another nation. Okay, I need persuasion. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> it'll be for either from one from each of you or you with advantage because okay. you're getting help. Um, let's see. Do you, do you want to go? I'm so, so I'm so afraid. To right there. Uh, I mean, mine's a mine's an unnatural seven, but mine's a twenty-one. <laughs> Let's go. Seven. Twenty-one. That's not understand. God, this is. <laughs> I need to not do this every single time. Oh, Jesse started adding the moratorium on the twenty-one <laughs> joke. Yeah. Oh no. Jesse's gonna do it now. Right. No, he already has. Last <laughs> no. Perfect. Uh, yeah. He kind of is thinking and he looks at you and he goes, ah, okay, if she thinks that she can solve the food thing, then maybe it's worth a try, but I don't know. It's going to be tough. I I can't just give you the whole thing. I mean, it's No, not... we can bring her here and you're going to be remember remembered as a great ape. I mean, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> God damn it. That's so true. <laughs> okay. I like the sound of this, but she's not with the humans that are at the rodeo, so... No, she hates those humans. Yeah, yeah but they are the ones that need to be pacified. But we do have Lombardi on back in that ship, and he was second in command for a while there. So maybe he takes up the... <laughs> maybe, maybe he takes up the role of the leader of humans. Yeah, that's he's true. Got I don't think that they're going to want a non-human leader. Yeah, he's a portal folk. Yeah, yeah, but they all kind of... They knew. Yeah. Know. He... Looks like a human. Maybe Doctor Doctor can do it. Doctor, but she doctor. hates them. Doctor, Katrina? Doctor Katarina. Katarina. Yeah. She doesn't like them. 
Why? You remember she was all like, fuck you. Know. But they were the rich ones, though. Maybe yeah, she, she feels differently like about the kids. blue collar boys. These ones, I mean, she's trying to save these ones I've by making a, this. She there wants is something to see we can the banana. There's yeah, something we, we need can to do about this. Banana. We can go ask her if she wants to. <laughs> If you guys want. That is a very... <laughs> we can just go ask her how she feels about the humans. Yeah, we can go talk to her while we bring her to the banana. Look, yeah. you guys, you're, you're, you're good people. Mm-hmm. If you bring her here, she can come and see the prime banana. Okay. okay. Shake on her. He reaches and oh. shakes. I duck him up like I did last yeah. time. Yeah, like, perfect. I'm going to be the Don. I'm going to have to start shaking hands more seriously pretty soon. No, it's going to be the new thing. The new That's harness. the serious way to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Sure. I love it. Let's go get the doctor. Yeah. You guys exit Paradise Jungle as the now once furious rioting crowd has become sort of strangely quiet and weirded out. And after exiting Paradise Jungle and heading to back where Lombardi has the boat docked, we're going to take our break. We're back in it. You guys have now ridden on your found rafters out of Paradise Jungle, headed back to the dock where Lombardi is waiting for you with Katarina Nice and Izzy, your current learning chef. Chef to be. And they see you approach and Lombardi waves you in and he goes, Hey y'all, what's, uh, you know, you've been gone only for like a few hours. What's up? What's the deal? <laughs> Don's dead. <laughs> okay. You know, we got you a uh, meeting with that banana they have that you wanted to see. Mm-hmm. She is like, you guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just do everything that is, like needs to happen and quick. Wow. Just real good stuff. It's crazy. Who knows what needs to happen? Yeah. I mean, bad what? news is you may have to be queen of the humans now. I won't okay. <laughs> be doing that. Lombardi, you're going to be king of the game now. <laughs> he goes, that's not something that I think that they're going to be excited about. And once this place is settled, I'll probably work on trying to ski down. Yeah. Okay. We'll Tell her, sort that out. You're, you're no working worries. on this to feed everybody, right? Like including those humans? Yeah, of course. I mean, even like the apes, they're sentient. Like, I don't really, you know. I'm not crazy about the fact that they tried to rule over all of the human population, but you know, they're thinking, feeling things. So at this point, it's kind of out of the question to leave them out of the food supply. And you want nothing to do with continuing to help the people you're currently helping? Trying to help? Like, you don't have to be queen or whatnot, but like, you can work with Yuhu to make it a good place. Right. Let me give you my ideal scenario for mm-hmm. myself. Later you guys seem like way. really, you know, um, receptive to like very straight talking. If I could finish my formula, um, put it on a desk that everyone could read and then just disappear, that would be pretty great. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd kind of like to just set things back to normal if that's possible. Sometimes I want to disappear too. Okay, well, you know, I'm not a doctor in therapy, but it sounds like you need some. That was grim. (laughs) Yeah, a little bit dark over here. Well, yeah, let's go to the big banana, guys. Cool. There's also a big hot dog that you guys keep talking about, and I don't really want to see it, but I do want to know where it is, because I know people with guns, and if there's a big monster, they could try and destroy it. What if it produces other hot dogs if it's alive? I'm doubtful that that is the case. It makes little Vienna sausages. Like babies. A nickel all can be the normal hot dogs. No baby hot dogs. No baby baby hot dogs. Okay, you guys are acting like this is a living thing that can make a little tiny Oh, it's living. Oh, it's alive. Okay. Ketchup face and everything. Right, ketchup face, of course. Should we go to the hot dog place? And I mean, wouldn't that be kind of funny? I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to take me there, you can. But I do have people that can try and, you know, kind of wrestle it and figure that whole thing like, out. They can go take care of big hot dog while we take you to big banana. I mean, it'll take more time than that. It'll probably be once I start shipping people from Escape Island to here to sort of, you know, figure out how to distribute food and stuff. I don't think everybody likes the big hot dog as much as I do. That's almost certainly true. You are nearly in love with this big hot yeah. dog. All right, let's take her to the big that banana. Means you can get all the hot dogs. Well, though. this is happening. I would get all the hot dogs. Mm-hmm. I want to pull him aside. Okay. And I say, we're working with some really bad people. Oh, brother. <laughs> this is a re- wave I've been riding for a little bit, man. <laughs> I, cast, I cast Augury. Okay. Weird. And I go, 
<coughs> well, if what you would that? like to explain what augury does, do you want to read the spell? Yeah, what is that? No. <clears throat> By casting gem inlaid sticks, <laughs> casting components for those. The uh, rolling dragon modes, laying out ornate cards, or employing some kind of other divining tool, uh, you receive an omen from another worldly entity, my deity, uh, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, about the result of a specific, specific course of action that you plan to take within the next 30 minutes. Mm. The spell doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as casting of additional spells or the loss or gain of a companion. Mm -hmm. Okay? Everybody understand what it does? Basically, I'm asking my god for advice, and I get an omen, or I get mm -hmm. a response. And I'm going to say, should Hemp and I kill these savages, savage heathens who are laying destruction everywhere we go, killing our friends and their friends' fathers? I feel like some of my agency has been stolen from me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You still ask, though. I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know that. I'm, no, yeah. Because you see they're bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to see what your god says, though. You, uh, just because you, you get a god. small ding on your cell phone. It's like a Kim Possible, you know, <laughs> text to. Yeah, perfect. Good job. Hello? Uh, it actually isn't a call, it's a text. Oh, cool. uh, yeah. And it, it says, what I swear to God, if you kill more people, you guys will pro probably be fine. No more death. And then like 25 emojis. So we never kill anybody ever again, then you saw it. Yeah, can you oh. ask her what her thoughts are on me? Well, how much guilt am I burdened with? I don't see him. <laughs> okay. Ding, 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 ding. Do, 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 do. It's... <laughs> F U N N E Y. Oh. Winky face. I can't read that. <laughs> no, it says uh, funny, winky. I think my deity thinks you're cute. <laughs> First the scientist, now you're God. It's, oh my God. <laughs> I think I'd, I'd give you the deets, but I can't pull her back ever. Yeah, it's okay. So, you, you guys have a complicated relationship. Do we all see this or no? I no, mean, I walked away yeah, you guys are planning stuff out. I went, I went away because I was going to ask my dude if I could, should kill you guys. You see that he's fiddling with his phone, but that's about it. Gotcha. Okay, anything else? You're going to ride on raptors with Katarina Nice back to Paradise Jungle. You don't yep. want to go to the... I want to go to the hot dog. But I don't think the group wants to go to the hot dog. Is there a rooting where the hot dog kind of we kind of go past it on the way to the jungle? Like a <laughs> no. small detour. It, it is direct opposite. Yes, they are pretty much in opposite, opposite like, direction. Kind of, we can shimmy and crow fly a little bit. Um, Whatever yeah. place you go to, it'll probably be like the last location you get to in this in-game day. Then you go to sleep, and then the next day it'll happen. What if we went to the took her to the banana? She does all her stuff at the banana. And then once we know how the banana works, we see if the hot dog works the same way. That's fine. Because that can get you a lot of protein, a lot of yummy stuff from the banana. It's you know. better for you than bananas. <laughs> Maybe. This guy loves fucking hot dogs. I cannot let it be said that hot dogs are better for you than bananas. <laughs> Just to be clear. But they have longer so shelf life. Going? I guess it. So. Longer shelf life. Longer shelf life. You know what? More I've been defeated. sodium. I've been hoisted by my I, hoisted I, by my own patrol. I know somebody who has like thirty of them on stock at eat, like all times for her. His name's Shark. <laughs> <laughs> his name is his name's Ryan. So, all right, let's go to the banana. All right, to the banana, very sullenly. Yep. Shark, I'm, I'm pouting in the back of the pack. <laughs> Shark pouts. Roll for pouting. Yeah, no, um, I'm just grumbling the whole rest. I'm gonna pull up, pull up next to him with a map and be like, "Yes, yeah, so now the banana's here." So actually, if we go this way, it's actually not too far out of our way. <laughs> Get the way back. All right, we'll hit the hot dog on the way back. You guys travel all the way to Paradise Jungle, and the scene is almost the same as before. You are able to get all the way back up to the canopy, and Yuhu greets you, and he says, uh, he reaches up to Katarina Nice and shakes her hand. Okay, so you need to see the prime banana. I guess I'll... Just for a I'm going to be like, you know what? Stewie taught me something. Okay. Some people are bad people. That's... Whoa. Inevitably true. And I'm going to straighten my tie to Katarina and say you can't handle the truth. Okay. Go ahead and roll your intimidation, my friend. 21. <laughs> I will resist. My soul is burning right now. 21. And then we That's all have like to roll 20. to make sure. Yep, so everyone has to roll your uh, oh, right. I rolled an 18. wisdom saving throws. Yeah. What? This is almost an unsavable check. <laughs> Two, Four, yeah. No. Five. Twenty-four. Oh! I know. Oh! Okay. Ten. Ten. So everybody except for our two, uh, our robot and our, our big man. All right. So I got Katarina. Yep. You're not getting oh, information out of you me. Who. 
Yuko fails as well. Yeah, I forgot he wears that. Still, yep. Um, Katarina. Uh, yes. Do you really want this banana for your science experiment? And are you really trying to help people with this? Yeah. <laughs> Good news. It's kind of what I've dedicated my life to at this point. Why have you dedicated your life to it? Are you just a good person? I mean, I'd like to think that it's that. It's also that right now living on this planet is hell. Really don't like it here. Really don't have anywhere else to go. Just going to solve the problem. That's how I've done everything the rest of my life. Just see a problem. Just fucking truck over it and solve it with my massive brain. And <laughs> everything usually works out. Okay. Really thought maybe she was bad and this smart would make me look smart, but I feel dumb. Well, you still can. Ask her if she thinks I'm handsome. Yeah, who's the cutest out of the seven? Definitely him. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he looks kind of fucked up. You are the human, so I don't know how it would work between us, to oh, be it honest. Would work, honey. Oh. Okay, that was not great for you. You look like, I don't know if you guys have hippos where you are, but not, not exactly the most becoming relationship between a human and a hippo. Um, and also, there's a lot of videos online of them farting. So, not crazy about that. You're a robot. Don't know how that would work. Tap my cartridge. I can be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether that made it better or worse for you. We are all having problems in our love life. I am sexy You're by proxy. We love the same Much time. bigger than me. Yeah. And also, I, you know, I don't swim for that team. Yeah. I just had a husband, and that's mm. kind of what I'm set on. Uh, you're a little older than me. He's kind of the only contender. Okay. All right. Well, good job. Yeah. Hot by proxy. We no. like that. <laughs> I do want to know, are you excited to go to the hot dog warehouse? After we finish the, After banana. the banana. Yeah. You're okay. How about you? No. <laughs> I'm hot. Yeah. I'm excited to see you smile. <laughs> and that's going to be the fastest way to get oh, that to happen. That sweet. <laughs> hot dogs? How do you feel about it? Hot dog warehouse. We're just gonna kill their father too. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hot by proxy. Also, you know what's you got something going on. All right. Let's go. You seem to got it figured out. <laughs> you know, you hell. old ass man. You know. Uh, I'm, I'm having a great day. I'm <laughs> just having a great day. So I'm just I'm gonna done. skip it his step today. I'm done with this. I trust her. I'm gonna go over and give a little nudge to him. I'll be like, damn. Oh, they, they say 125 year old gnomes can't skip. I'm gonna prove that wrong today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk backwards too. <laughs> 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 All right, sorry, we can we, we carry on. Let's yeah. get the banana. You guys follow you who uh, you walk with him and have skips to the uh, prime banana. And it's pretty twisting and curving. And as he's leading you, he goes, you know, a big reason that people don't find the prime banana and you know, only the portal folk that we trust enough to get the seeds is because, well, it's part of the forbidden jungle, but it's just a little bit of a dip in. And uh, we kind of have a half contact. You'll see when we get there. And he begins leading you. And it's going to be quite a walk. So if there's any prep you guys want to do while you guys are falling behind him, please go for it. Uh, I want to go right to him and be like, I forgot about this. I found this. Can you take a bite of it and figure out what it is? Can I inspect it at all? I sure, what is it? We wouldn't see the, yes. the banana staff. Oh. But I don't, know, I don't know it's a banana staff. It's a staff. It looks like it's for fighting, and it sort of kind of looks like a banana, but the top of it has like a, a head, like a fist-sized animal head. I thought it was a bow, but it had no string. Well, let me say, I think it's a... Uh, can I feel it and like kind of sense the magic of it? Like if it's a casting If you'd staff, like to do an arcana can... check, sure. Cool. Um, 15? Um, yeah, I mean, you can tell it's a magic staff, and okay. you can tell it's transformative in some way. Like, it, it can change forms, Robots but other than that, it's hard to, hard to say. And then just so, he, I, he, I do what he says. I'll take, like, a little tiny bite of it. Okay. Like, it's made of wood. Yep. It kind of hurts. <laughs> nope, that's... Just a little it's bit. It's not a banana. It just looks like it. But <laughs> not, it's a gonna, it's gonna not, a, not a banana? Not a banana? Not a banana. Not a banana? banana? Not a banana. That's not the command word? Not a banana. It's not a banana. No. Banana's not a command word. Looks like no. he's a euphemism. Okay, he got his habit. He's trying to activate no, no, no. him some sleeper no, self. No. no, no. <laughs> he's like, short circuit. Interesting. Was there, there was no writing on the staff? No. Okay, cool. I'm going to bonk it on the ground and make it change a little bit. Do like whatever we were talking about where it shifts. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Be like, Ew, look, it does you, this. You jab it onto the ground and it immediately turns into a... Uh, 
a, a banana anaconda. Oh. Like, or not a anaconda. What's it called? Python. Banana python. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Oh, just go ahead. So there is no command word? You just jab it in the ground? That's if you'd like there to be a command word that can be. Well, so I was saying, because usually for the Python staff, my understanding is like, yeah, Python. I mean, so that's why really, I was like trying to go banana, and it was like. I think he's just really magic. If you okay, want that's to cool. make no, that's a cool. I'm word. just trying to understand how to use the staff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he, okay, cool. So you drab it down. It, it turns into a banana python, like a full size, like oh slithering banana. Lar had a better name. I'd be like, right? I don't know how to what? make that so stop. It can be a banana conda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, sure. I'm saying, holy shit, the staff really likes you. And I'm like, I don't know how to make it stop, though, so. Neither do I, because there's no command. I'm going to get down, I'm going to kind of wrestle it and be like, say this word. <laughs> I don't know. Make, <laughs> I said, the safe I, word. I, I said banana earlier, nothing happened. Uh, try a funnier one. Uh, Cavendish. Cavendish immediately whips it back into uh, into shape. <laughs> it turns back into a staff. Holy shit. Great work. And I'm going to give it back to I'm going to give it back to you. I'm gonna be like, well, I'll take it too. <laughs> I'm gonna like Zoro, I put it in my mouth and I have like three staffs. Yeah. It's it's like a full staff, so it's like seven feet across. I, I can take it. I just want I thought it'd be funny, like if you give me so I just give Okay, it. I'm like, I can't quite aim okay, it I'll, right I'll, now. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> you now have the banana conda on staff. My mouth. Um it's a banana conda and it also will obey like orders that you give it. Like it'll go and do things, so yeah. Fun little banana styled tool. You guys walk down a few pathways and you even go down an elevator that uh, you who lets you down and you walk on the ground through the jungle and this part of it, the grass is sort of taking on a more bluish tone, um, like teal colored, almost like turquoise. And you want me to describe the grass more? Sure, I will. <laughs> now, <laughs> you guys are walking down a pathway and at some point there's this pedestal that has like a 15 foot tall banana just on it with one peel peeled away and a like a rut dug into it to reach in and get seeds out of it. And as you guys are walking up, Katarina Nice is fucking all over this. She like runs up and she starts looking at it. And she's writing notes. She's like, I'll tell you guys what I need in a few minutes. Just got to take this all in. And she's going and you guys see an ape walk around the back of the statue. Um, it kind of walks towards you guys and it walks up to you and says, yo, honey, it's been so long. And it kind of ruff, ruffles his shoulder. And you've brought friends. You never bring friends. Hello. Very nice to meet all of you. Um, I'm Clarice. I'm Yuhu's mother. Sorry oh. about your husband. Oh. What? Oh. oh. Yeah, we... Yep. Yeah. Are you guys still together or was it, you, you live in different places? Oh, is it, is it separated? So, I've okay. been in the uh, Forbidden Jungle for quite some time now. Um, okay. I tried to get him to reason with the humans for quite a while back then and he was not listening to it. So I skedaddled. <laughs> well, then I've got good news. He's dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not exactly happy about it, but, you know, it happens to people. Are you the point. person we heard about that? Kind of just was exiled and lives in the Forbidden Jungle? Uh, there's two of us. Oh, okay. Um, but Malia isn't really around. And honestly, you know, she's nice. <laughs> she She's just a little thorny to newcomers. But, mm. you know, once you get to know her, she's fine. But I think she's out prepping. She thinks humans are going to start storming the jungle. I think so, too. Possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good to know. Um, Maybe I'll go back. I mean, if... You know, Bon Bon's dead. Maybe I'll go back to uh, our house and I can just hole up there. You know? I, think I leave that entirely up to you. I actually don't think we have any say in this. Way in this yeah. He's the king now, though. The dawn. I guess that's true. And you who kind of looks at you all and says, uh, you guys can do whatever you want with the banana. I mean, obviously, don't destroy it. Usually my ma here takes care of it, makes sure nobody is going to, you know, walk up and just split the whole thing down the middle and try and eat it. Um but we already got you, you know, friends paws all over it. So I'm kind of fine giving up at this point. Uh, if she can't solve it, then figure we're all doomed anyway. Okay. Okay. Thanks for bringing us here. It's a good outlook. I'm going to go home and spend some time with my ma. Take care. Yep. See you. He bounces off and Katarina jumps off of the pedestal and walks towards you guys. Okay, I know exactly what I need. Just a bunch of seeds. I'm going to put them into this test tube, and if we can get back to my lab, I might have something done by tomorrow night. 
That's a lot of travel. Well, we got you. <laughs> I don't think she what took else are we doing? Account the hot dog warehouse stop either, so yeah, it might take a little longer. But yeah, go right ahead. She jumps up and she just scrapes like so many seeds out of this thing and just into a vial and corks it, puts it in her that. back, and then she pulls out another vial and just. I feel like What's you're taking a lot of seeds, Katarina. Well, yeah. I mean, I need fail safes. I don't have two vials for nothing. Mm-hmm. If one of these falls and breaks, I need to have a second one. Mm-hmm. There's still plenty. And she looks in, and it's only like one line of seeds left. And she goes, yeah, it's plenty. Okay. Yeah. I don't like what just happened. I am the scientist. Yeah, it's the scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else have a problem with what just happened? I think it's too late at this point. Yeah, she already has them. I don't love that that happened. Should whatever. Just don't touch anymore. I really hope that this takes two days that the humans don't come and attack while we're gone. That super could happen. Yeah. So should we hurry back then? Or do we need to do anything else while we're here? I'll stay behind and kill every human that shows up. (laughs) So you'll protect the banana. Well, I'm just going to kill any humans I see. Mm. Which does have the positive benefit of also protecting the banana, I suppose. I think we definitely do want to protect this banana, I feel yeah. like. Do we? I mean, I guess we don't. We have the hot dog fail safe. I'm probably <laughs> going to solve the problem. The banana will be, uh, you know. Irrelevant. Yeah, it'll be uh, obsolete. Unless she doesn't. Point. Let's say I'm really confident. <laughs> I really trust okay. her. And All right, so I trust you. her. If you would like, we could take the banana That's with us. I was thinking too. That oh. sounds like a really bad idea. I thought we could at least take it up to you. Who? I don't but think he then... wants it moved, though. I think he this? really likes it. We here. leave the banana here and go. Yeah. <laughs> and whatever yeah. happens. Wow. Happens. What a human they're probably good. not going to find. What a lightning idea. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sure. That's what I was going to do regardless. Let's get the fuck out of here. fucking go. You guys leave. When you get back to your raptors, are you going to the hot dog warehouse or are you going to the ship? We have a pivotal decision to make. Can we, can we let her sail back while we detour? What do you think about that? She, do you bring the idea to her? Uh, that was a question to Drew. Is like, is that possible for us to? <laughs> you could do that, but you're not sure if she would be psyched about the idea. Okay. She's carrying some pretty primo cargo. She um, might need some protection. She yeah. could die on the way. I'll leave it to the group. There's lots of people on that island who don't like her. <laughs> you should. How big is the hot dog warehouse to you? Because I know you care about it. Hey, I love the hot dog warehouse, but I'm all about. You know, group think. Mm. <laughs> Use social communication. And then he, when, he, when he says hot dog warehouse, I remember the banana conda I just saw. And I say Cavendish. Yep. Pull out the python. It's massive, by the way, because it's a giant. It's, it's a huge python. So, what if this also poops bananas? Hmm. What if? Can you make it? Do First that? of all, I was pulling a giant fucking banana snake. That's and true. None of you guys even that is care. true. It is he wild. Didn't pull a python out of thin air. <laughs> a gi- they're gi- it's a huge beast. It is, whoa, thank you. <laughs> Can you make what? it poop bananas? Poop. It shits. <laughs> it's just shit, though. Yeah. Whoa. But it's really big. But like, it's whoa. huge shit. What if it's reflavored or changed to be not banana looking? I mean, you should, should, up and you should try it. And you should try it. I can. What not a, first. What a cardinal it's thought. Your, it's your banana conda. Yeah, it's no, but like, I, 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 I was raised better than this. You should eat first. Guess first. I've got hot dogs. I'm not eating snake shit. Okay. That's, well, that's, that's fair. I can't eat first. I'm gonna throw it on the ground. Yeah, it splats like it's shit. (laughs) But it might be banana. It might. It might be banana shit. Could be. There's only one way to find out. For a (laughs) do it for your country. Eat. (laughs) The snake looks at you and kind of like, please don't. It shakes. It's probably shit. (laughs) There. Um. All right. You know. Like I said, I'm I'm here to do what the group wants to do. We all know I want to go to the hot dog warehouse, but it's not important. We've got the banana if we don't want to. So you guys pick. I mean, I'll set a strike team at some point. We can also just go when we get back. This seems kind of urgent. But... How about this? 
you guys seem like you're kind of trying to wrap things up, which I am not against. You know, you guys look important, have places to be. Let's take me back to the lab. I don't know what you guys are all gonna do once this whole thing is figured out, but how about if you all go and do your thing and then he can stick around for like a day, go with the strike team, handle the hot dog stuff, and then, you know, meet back up with you guys at some point in the future. Hey, that sounds great to me. A little bit of breathing room from these guys, you know? <laughs> I think we can make that happen. And maybe turn it into a one shot somewhere along With just me. No, it'll be you and they'll all be the strike team. Oh, I see. <laughs> <clears throat> Shit. All right. Not not them as their characters. Yeah. They'll be different yeah. characters as the strike well, team. It'll be perfect. To banana lab. You guys go back to the ship. Board it with Lombardi. At this point, it is nighttime. You will need to sleep or take exhaustion as you go back to Escape Island. Let's see if the waters are as rough as they always are. Yep. <laughs> Concentration. Oy. Or constitution, right? Um, yeah, do I, I'm... Do I have to make one? No, your gyroscope is crazy. <laughs> I rolled a four, so I'm just still vomiting. Yep. I take exhaustion. And you're gonna take exhaustion. 18. 18 success. 14? Eight. 13. That is a fail. 13 is a success. Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh my Dude. god. I'm so anywhere. tempted to say, like, you can knock somebody out <laughs> to, to let them sleep too, but no. You two, uh, no you two guys don't get long rests and you have exhaustion, which just means that on checks you have disadvantage. I'm going um, to yell the snake to sleep. The snake sleeps. Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys arrive at Escape Island and you can immediately tell that things are not good. There's a lot Damn. of plumes of smoke. Uh, from places that are presumably on fire, and you don't see any of the staff working and like pulling plants off of or fruits off of the trees. Like all of the trees are kind of dying on the coastline very slowly. It's kind of looking like this place has been attacked. Snake wake up. Like good actually. It yeah, thank you. Uh, this looks more like home. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, I think those fellows finally became real revolutionaries. I don't think it was them. You don't think so? Who do you think, Star? There's probably some humans that aren't worth them. Yeah. Should Valar fly the doctor back? Or should, can we all quickly go hop along? Would it be faster if you flew her back? <laughs> can I, how about instead, can I fly high and just like survey the path and see if there's threats? Oh, you sure. Are you Val culting right now, dude? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You fly straight up and roll a perception check. Give me Overwatch, <clears throat> Valar. At the same time, I use my new boots and I jump as high as I can, thinking I can fly. And okay. Land again. I think it's like, oh man, how far can you jump at this point? No. That's it's just a, straight. It's, it's like 30 feet or something. That's a six. It's oh. pretty high. Do you want me to look at the jump rate? Six on perception? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty good at seeing stuff. You see almost nothing. <laughs> Wait. Things look like shit, but the one thing that you do notice is that around the lab, there is the security, like, program that uses the miniguns and stuff, that shit is on. And like, they are prepped. All right, I will uh, land and relay that information in as few words as possible to the team. Well, that sucks. Okay. Bye, Jove. Is there any way you can turn that off, Katarina? <laughs> what? No, you have to be in the... They're probably going to let me just walk in unless it was taken over by people that we don't like. I might be Ow. able to sneak in. Let's Shut off the security. I forgot we had a cheat code with us. <laughs> we can also ride my snake. Nope. I'm gonna veto this. <laughs> <laughs> Won't do that. Shoot yourself. Let's head on over to the lab. Yeah, let's see. Let's get a little closer. Sit you guys down. jauntily stroll. You do like the Dexter's laboratory long walk <laughs> over to <laughs> over to the lab. <laughs> But yeah, you get up to the front and you can tell that there are a bunch of people inside and they look not like lab workers, they look like revolutionaries. And the miniguns on the outside are fucking... What was the name of the revolutionaries? Farley. 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 Hey, Farley, you in there? The revolutionary at the window kind of turns the shattered window that you guys broke and kind of goes, what? It's us. The... Who are you? Are you Farley? No. Oh. Did, far did you answer me? Who the? I'm not gonna get our boss. He's doing important stuff. No, we know about Kate and Farley, and we talked with them, and we're working together. We just need to talk to Farley. Who do you think let it and you get in there? Who do you think disabled everything? You see another 
revolutionary walk up and he kind of looks at the revolutionary then looks at you guys and it's Todd. And he goes, Todd! Those guys called me idiots. Fuck. <laughs> and the other revolutionary goes, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. Todd sucks. <laughs> do you really like Todd? Be honest. They do a secret handshake in front of you. <laughs> As, so I'm on the Mython, the Bananathon. The, well, the banana you know it's not like a car size. Thing. <laughs> it's like a regular banana python, which is still huge. But yeah, it's giant, right? It's a giant beast or is it huge? No. Beast? It's just a banana python. It's so like it's like 10 feet long or something. It is huge. It's, it's huge. It, you, give me, you gave me a huge. Yes. Yes. But it's, 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 called a, it's called a giant constrictor snake. Just oh, giant constrictor snake. It is that, isn't it? Yes. That's why I was like, I'm riding the fucking... Can you ride a giant constrictor snake? <laughs> With animal hands. That would be fucking crazy. You didn't make me do it. So <laughs> Holy shit. Well, now I understand we both understood that the, the banana conda was different sizes. Holy fuck. This thing is huge. Riding, this guy's riding like Yeah, a sure. Bird. You're riding a fucking giant snake. Holy shit. It was in a stack. <laughs> that's what I'm oh. saying. When I produced the giant no, snake, you're right. you fuckers... I, I, thought it was a big like, I, I thought it was just a big snake. I just thought it was like... Britney Spears. It is a yeah, no, it's massive. It is huge. <laughs> yeah. That's what we can ride. I super snake. forgot. Well, I wasn't looking really hard the first time, but this thing's crazy. Thank you for admiring how big my snake is. Yeah, yeah. that's a huge ass snake. So I'm on, I'm on I, it's like looking like uh, I have like the troops in front of me yep. on the cavalry. Sure, and perfect. I fucking, do they have guns? Yeah, they have guns. <laughs> sure, they're strapped around their body. So it kind of like pulls them forward and one of them falls over to the ledge of the window and the other one's kind of like standing back. It's Todd. He's like holding back. Does the Gatling gun shoot the guy who fell out the window? Thank you for asking. No. Me. no. I, I, can I keep on yanking? Like, what kind of contest would we do here? If, if any. Um, I don't know how my ability I think at this point, they have to use a lot of energy just to not get, like, yoinked. Yoinky spoinky even. Um, so they're struggling against your force pull. Um, and they're like, hey, stop! <laughs> uh, then let us in! Like, they, they aren't able to hold on to them, but the straps around their body are like, you know, it's like a... Material, like military, you know, yeah. material. Aren't I just so intelligent? Can you, <laughs> <laughs> Can't you tell I'm a professional? <laughs> Todd, please get Farley. Stop with the gun thing. I can't walk away without the gun thing. Will you get Farley if he stops? Yeah, fuck it. I'll get Farley. <laughs> All right. He turns around. That's cool. It's like 20 minutes. And then Farley comes out and he goes, oh, it's you guys again. Hey, man. Hey, hey big dog. What the fuck are you doing here? You did our plan that we talked about. Yeah, you, yeah. Why are you with, you know, the doctor? She's what? great. She was working on the f- making food for everybody. Yeah, she was brainwashed. Yeah. And now she's on the good side. And I say out loud, I lied. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better than what I was cooking up. 18. He goes, why didn't you say so before? Because your dumbass idiot friend Todd wouldn't let us talk to you. Such a way of words. You hear him turn around a corner and you hear him. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, yeah, you guys can come right in. And then he... Beep, 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 beep. Like, Todd sucks. Todd sucks. <laughs> Todd sucks. <laughs> we walk through the door and I kind of... That time. <laughs> 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 I press the digify stinky fart next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. It wasn't me. Oh, poor Todd. We're boring. I'm going to hold out one of my hot dogs from the tape. And when he reaches for it, I'm going to eat it. Oh, no. I wanted that hot dog. <laughs> Fuck him so down bad. to three hot dogs. Katarina Nice walks in and just looks at Todd and goes, <laughs> <laughs> oh My God, he's such a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy. I'm mad. Fuck you, Todd. All right. So she was my brainwashed. What? What's the plan? You know, now that she's back with us and she's all smart. We need to get her into her lab so she can feed people. Like you. She's got this big machine and it's going to like tell her how to fix it. She's got a formula. It's going to figure out why all the food's dying and stuff. It didn't destroy the machine, did you? No, but we were going to. The whole point is that we're going to re-inhabit the earth and we didn't need her formula. Okay, I'm just going to strike it, uh, Farley. Yep, go for it. Roll, <laughs> roll really an attack. I forget what Farley wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How dumb he was. That's a uh, 17. That'll just hit him. So I've got my rapier. I'm right at him. So uh-huh. a, well, I'll say that you can roll sneak attack. He wasn't expecting you to strike out at him. <laughs> I feel like my floodgates really open when Hugh gets violent. So I'm going to swing my axe at Todd. 
Because <laughs> that guy sucks. Sure. 14. <clears throat> okay. You jab him in the chest, and he kind of like falls to one knee, and he goes, oh, fuck. And he... Starts kind of walking away. No, that's when I get him with the two piece. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I get the yep. other one out. Yep. Oh, that's a 16. That'll. That doesn't hit him. He has a 17 AC. <laughs> oh, damn you, Todd. But he does leave your range. So if you'd like to opportunity attack him, you may. Skill check? Uh, okay. Oh, skill check? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and put he, him down. He does look very hurt. I can't reach Yeah. Him. <laughs> I hardly <Nice>. can. <laughs> Oh. No! <laughs> Wait, I think that's a cock. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, no, that was that, Nope, that's, no. <laughs> that's too good. <laughs> God damn it, Todd. Damn you. You go to jab, and he does a dive roll, and he reaches up, and he slams a button, and alarms start going oh. off. Oh, I'd like fuck. you guys to roll initiative. No, oh, uh, damn it. Did head my, into Owlbear. Did my swing on Todd go off or no? Yes, go this ahead. This is very that. important. Uh-huh. Did my snake manage to ride in? The snake is too big. <laughs> I understand that. So when I went, when it's I came with them, I would have said cabinet. <laughs> anyone who tries to eat, yeah, I would just eat them. And now I have the staff again. Yes. Very oh good. boy, this is going to be great. I'm telling by the way that uh, 18 to hit. Uh, that definitely hits him. Cool. Um, just to save us time, uh, the snake has 8d12 of hit points. That's a lot of them. Do you do you want to roll those or do you want me to roll those? I think that uh, on 5e tools, it'll have a default amount that it will like just preset. Okay, I can do that. So you can just use that. Cool. Um, 25 to 20 on initiative. 25. Woo! Wow. Man, he's got the lightning in him. Uh, 20 to 15. 15. 18. 15. 15 for 7 and shark. Share and turn. And then oh. 18. Oh. We're gonna kiss. Good. As an action. It always comes back to what kissing and killing. Love is action smooch. Action smooch. <laughs> With Tom. Oh, that's a bonus action. Uh, 15 to 10? 11. And then the rest? 8. 6. Woo! I hit Todd for 28 damage. Oh, he <laughs> fucking turns into paste. <laughs> he goes, oh god! And just instantly is killed. That um, sucks. Yep, he's super dead. You can tell because he's dead. Um, yeah, that was karma. Yo, you had that work on it. <laughs> okay, you guys are in the owlbear, and a map that was meant for stealth will now just be combat. Uh, <laughs> let's start at the top queue. You're up, and I need to have a perfect time. All right, I'll chase him down and get him with the old rapier again. Yeah, sure, go for it. Man, I keep rolling that. It's a 15. That is a miss. I'm going to bonus action with the other hand with the short sword. Go for it. There, finally. That's a 21. That'll definitely hit him. 21. <laughs> That's about to start losing cool points. <laughs> Don't. Exactly. Don't <laughs> now that the cool point economy this. has set in. Seven damage. Yeah, you kill him. <laughs> he, uh... <laughs> hey, guys, you kind of hit the nail on the head when you met him. He kind of is just, uh, really can't do I nothing. 17 AC him. was pretty good, though. Yeah. 17 AC like, is good. I was like, oh, this guy gear. might be, you know, on something. Give us a little trouble. His shock trooper might be a little tougher. But you, uh, you jab down on him, and he goes, oh, God, and he passes away. Nice. <laughs> Excellent job. Anything else in your turn? I licked the blood off my hand. Delicious. Oh. It's as sweet as ever. Uh, next up, well, I have to roll to initiative. To scroll to initiative. Valar, you're up. Cool. I'm going to bless uh, Hugh, Shark, and Hell. Charles. Hugh, Shark. Um, that's the, you added D4 to saving throws and attack rolls. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to cast a uh, Searing Smite. Sure. Prepping for the next round. Yep. Awesome stuff. Do you want to move? Yeah, I'm going to scooch on up next to Hugh over here. Perfect. Anything else? Nope. Seven and Shark. All right. Are these are these windows? To your to right. To yep. my right? Okay. Uh, those are windows. I'm going to dive through the <laughs> Good. <laughs> and I'm going to cast fog cloud where I'm sitting to break line of sight with the shock trooper. Perfect. You dive through and then 
foam, a cloud of smoke surrounds you. An incredible move. What are the chances to so see this one, like the computer chair? Yep. Any chance I hear him typing or any noise coming from there? The alarms are starting to go off, so they are all aware. But I mean, do I hear him through the wall there? Yeah, you can hear them all like start to put on gear and rack bullets into guns. I guess my question is if I come here and swing through the wall. Can you cannot swing through the wall, sadly. Okay. You can attack the wall and try and break it, but you can't just swing through it. Gotcha. That's a shame. Um, but it is your turn. Yeah. If you want to break the wall down, you can try. I'm trying to decide where I'm going here. Anything else from Seven? Um, yeah, I'm going to redraw my fog cloud, but I'm going to like move over here kind of in the mm -hmm. corner because mm -hmm. I see that's a door. Yep. I'm actually just playing a fucking <laughs> stealth. I, I think it's safe. Okay. Yeah, let me re redraw my fog cloud. I guess we're trying to get there. Ooh, to nice. Get there. I mean, I think fog cloud is usually fucking massive, but I like this way more. It's so like... Batman. <laughs> um, all right, Shark, what's the apps? All right, I'm just going to come here and actually break the wall leading into the lab. Good. Go ahead and roll an attack. These walls are not paper thin, but Shark is a super person. And I'm also going to rage. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, what do you do? No, that, Rick. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's Rick. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Recklessly attack the wall. Set out your attack dice. Twenty. Yeah, I have them up here. Twenty-two. Yep, that'll hit it. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Here. Did you know that there's a, a property that you can put onto weapons called siege, and it makes them deal double damage to structures? Oh, did oh. not. So maybe at some point you'll get a siege weapon, something to break stuff with. Watching you discover Albert Rodeo in real time makes me <laughs> so pleased. I'm learning. It's that so awesome. Is 17. Yeah, you break straight through the wall. Nice. Walls open, boys. Dust and rocks at your feet. Anything else? You can climb through it. You still have movement, I think. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I'm going to go through it. Sure. Uh, Stewie. I'm in. Um, I'm going to... Uh, hop through this window and follow Seven in here mm -hmm. and kind of hide in the corner and uh, use my bonus action to turn invisible. Sounds good. So. Anything else? That's it for me. Okay, it is the troops' turn. I'm going to start up here in the top right. This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, is going to walk out here and uh, oh, he doesn't see you. You're invisible. Um, I think he just fires a blast where he heard the window was broken. You hear it, and he fires a shotgun. Uh, let's say it's at hemp with disadvantage because he can't see anything. Oh. That is a one. Oh. <laughs> he just, you see as the absolute shrapnel bullets just fly in front of you and impact the wall opposite of the windows. Yep, um, these are Farley's guys. Four, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, it's going to bump into you. The guy does. Uh, and he's going to attempt to attack you, but you are invisible. Oh, that's not going to hit. It's like a 12? I think my AC, my AC is 13. Oh. Okay, so he swings a knife at you, but it just barely uh, skid past you. This one is going to walk one, two, three, four, five. See a shark, turns, and it's just gonna, he's gonna shoot some bullets at you. Okay. He's gonna use a, an assault rifle and he's gonna shoot a gun at you. Can I protect him? Because yeah. there's a hole in the wall right yep. there. That'll be advantage. You fly forward and slam the shield down in front of shark, and you hear bullets just tink, 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 tink. Shield bulletproof, as it turns out. Nice. I'm gonna kiss him on the cheek. How nice. But since I'm standing in front of you, it's. More on You're the spot. Other cheese. Cheese. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, this one walks. One, two, My three, four. Well, <laughs> it'll be like four there. And this one is going to shoot at Shark as well. I can't do that. I can't put that deal. Correct. I figured. That is a 19 to hit you. That sure hits me. Okay. This is going to hurt a lot. They're hollow points. It's not dicing anymore. What if I. Need some more dice. Can I object to a gun? I'll take some more dice. Huh? Like an attack? Yeah. You can object to an attack. I don't know. But I think that this is... We agreed on making it once per session. So... Yeah. so I, I'll... Let me get shot. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how bad the shooting is yeah. for you. Oh, that's a lot of dice. Oh, well, I lost that one. That was Eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirty, fourteen. Yeah, at what point am I allowed to object? <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20. Twenty-four piercing damage. Cut in half is twelve. Yep. Uh, second attack. Oh. oh. Oh, I didn't do the second attack for the first guy. All right, then I'll do that too. What the um, fuck? <laughs> that's a twenty-five to hit. No, 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 no. It's a twenty-three. Yeah, that one hits too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one's way higher. So you have uh, two more attacks coming at you. From the I'm first gonna... guy's second attack, and then this guy's second attack. Object. You're fucking stupid. Okay. So one of them goes, aw. <laughs> <laughs> he, he misses his attack, but you'll take one of them. Uh, wow, that's bad. <laughs> Another 24. <laughs> uh, halved to 12. A piercing. Is that all of the troopers? It is. I'm going to lift my head up and go, bitch. <laughs> uh, Foray, you're up. Then Hemp. Then we're back to the top. I got stupid out here. I'm going to attack him. You're going to attack him? No, no, him. Oh. <laughs> Hemp's not stupid. That's true. Um, which one did you call stupid? He's back in this room. You got to go through some walls first. Yeah, I was going to track like your movement, I guess. This uh, is a... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I was looking at the wrong character. Mm-hmm. Silly me. All right, I'm going to show up next to y'all right here. I think that's... Yeah, that's open. And I'm just going to sacred flame. Four, five, six. Uh, six you can only get straight through the wall. I think. Oh, wait, wait. Because I was here, right? Yep. Each uh, thing oh, yeah, is five feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. How so, is it that you guys are not what? snapping to the grid so much? Two. I don't, I don't even see the grid. Three, four. What the heck? Yep. Where's yep. the hole? The next, one more the next five, one. Yep, six. Three. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, well, that's uh, do I have? Uh, yeah, I have LOS, right? Technically, you have a what? LOS line of sight because that's yeah, just a disc. Line of sight. Yeah, just, I'm making sure that's the. Yep. Yes. Sir. All right, sacred flame. We're good. Or not sacred flame. Uh, what the fuck is the name of that cantrip? Is it attack? It might be a sacred flame. Yes, it is sacred. Okay, flame. got it confused with the other one. And the save is a fail. Go ahead and roll damage. Sick. And then I will end my turn there once I give you damage. Cool. Go ahead and cook that up for me, hemp. You are up. Seven. Okay. Um, does magic missile go through smoke? Like, is it still guaranteed to hit? So you have to see your target. Okay. And the fog cloud is fully obscuring. It's considered heavily obscured uh, vision. So no LOS right now. Gotcha. Did you, did you hear the seven damage? No. Seven. Gotcha. Mm. That guy's still inside the room, right? Uh huh. Oh, one up there. Okay. Okay. Um. I love mid seven drop a smoke bomb and everyone's like, we can't see through the smoke. And he's like, that was the intention. <laughs> <laughs> Just as planned. Smoke. Hmm. Okay. I believe in you. I'm going to sneak up here. Mm-hmm. They are. And I'm not going to go in. I'm just going to lean through. Like You have to yeah. go down. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. It's one more spot. Yeah. There you go. But I'm going to lean through the door do like out of cover. I'm just going to throw an ice knife down there at the yep. farthest guy. Sounds but good. I, when I make it, I grab it, and I've learned from last time, I kind of dole down the tip of it a little bit <laughs> so it's not lethal. Yeah. And yeah. then I throw it down there. Go for it. I go, whoa. <laughs> All right. That is a 11 to hit. So That'll miss. Yep. But then I think it still explodes, yes? Yes, it still does. And it's what? I have saves, I think? Um, I think I think they just take the damage. Let me double check it. Uh huh. Um, the Dance target within five feet, uh, deck saving throw okay. or take two d6. They're both within the five feet, I think. Oh yeah. no, it's only one of them. Uh, the one that you attacked rolled a sixteen on the save, so he succeeds. Okay. Okay, you throw the knife, and he kind of blocks it, and it explodes, and he's too cool to nope. be hit by the ice knife. Damn, he's not bad. So sad. I'm gonna sneak back up a little. Sure, bit. sounds good. Then let's see, is there a Bonus action I can take. I'm going to start brewing up a potion. Okay, sure. <laughs> what are you picking up to brew a potion? I'm going to take uh, a little bit of that hot dog I got. I'm going to slap it in there. Sure. And then uh, also a d12. Uh, yes. We got to do them at the same time. Uh, a seven and a four. Oh, so man. when it comes to going up and down one, is it I can do it only 
Can I do one for each table, or is so, it just one for both tables? Uh, it's only one on the tables that you already know, and okay. it's not just up and down one. I'm pretty sure it's up and down an amount of the entries that you know. On that table. On the table. Oh. So for the hot dog, I mean, inorganic or organic, God, this is too, I guess it has to be organic because it's made of meat. Yeah. Um, so you can move up and down on that table as many entries as you know on the organic table. Beautiful. And then what was your number on the D12? That one is a four. Okay. Very good. Um, and what do you want to do for the organic table? You rolled a what? I am going to take, um, is 10 the electric one? Yes, sir. I'm going to take 10. Sure. Uh, it looks like it's buzzing with electricity and it also looks like it's like a thicker fluid, almost like a, like a hearty soup or stew. Okay. Has some chunks in it, chunky potion. All right. Hey, uh, either Valar or Shark, if you guys want to come grab this and throw it at him, it'll probably fuck him up pretty bad. That, that's all I'm going to do this turn. Cool. Uh, back to the top, we have Hugh. Where's Katarina at? Is she with us? She's still behind you guys, kind of at the door. Okay. I'll just let's make it easy. Here, I'll just... let's, I'll, I'll add a uh, Katarina token. She can be a gear. She's like out there. Okay, I'm just going to come in through the wall. Wait, do I have enough movement? <laughs> One, two? I don't, so never mind. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Uh, what can I do? Uh, I was doing what? Is, this, is this a window right next to Stewie? Yeah. Okay, I'm busting in through there. And then I'm just going to swing on this guy. Go for it. Rough nine. Ooh. You're gonna have if you uh, oh, yeah, if, if you get to the other side of him, you'll be flanking. Uh, okay, uh, and you'll you'll have advantage. Yeah, I forgot about that. No, I'll get to the other side and do just that. Yeah, go for <laughs> it. Okay, that's better. Twenty three. That'll definitely hit him. Mm. And uh, flanking so sneak attack or advantage so sneak attack. Ten. Ten. Yeah, you you jab him in the back. And he goes, ah, as you deal 10 damage to him. Uh, I'm not done with you yet, scoundrel. And then I get him with the other hand. Oh, my goodness. Uh, nine. Yeah, that's not enough. We said I get to add a d4 because of the blessing. To uh, your ten. attack roll. Okay. So instead of a nine, it was a... <laughs> 10. Yeah, it doesn't hit, sadly. Uh, you got lucky this time, vagrant. He turns around and he goes, oh, why I oughta? <laughs> oh, uh, I got... Anything else? Nope. Okay, Valar, you're up. Then Seven and Shark. All right. I'm going to run over here. It sounds like you got the sniffles over there, bud. A little bit. That's the allergies shame. have been really kicking my ass with this. Dude, pollen. the pollen? It's yeah. crazy. Pollen. It's coming down in, like, like nuclear winter. winter. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm going to take a swing at uh, the guy below me. Sure. I mean, everyone is equal. You don't have to say that he's below you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 20, unnatural yep, 20. that'll hit. Okay. And then, uh... Get him hard, Valar. I don't make you do anything special. So it's eight oh. initial damage. Uh-huh. And then, uh, since I have Searing Smite, I'm gonna yep. add a d6. And then he has to So that's save. plus three fire damage. And then at the start of its next turn, he takes a save to see if he makes, if he takes more fire damage. Gotcha. Um, so it's 11 total damage. Yes, sir. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to use uh, my Necrotic Shroud. Yeah. Um, is that BA or is that an action? That's a that's a bonus action. Okay. Let me reread just to double check. Uh, you can use a bonus action to unleash the Celestial Energy. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so then they are they have to make a save against to become feared. They both fail. A three and a two. Let's this, go. this dice is doing you wonders, bud. Yep, you're welcome. So now they're both afraid. Yes, sir. They're shitting and pissing. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Seven and Shark, you guys are up. Take the reins. Go okay, I, I have a question. Yes. If I were to like turn into a rat and try <laughs> to sneak past this guy. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a circle. Uh-huh. And sneak past the dude to my right. Sure. Right here. Could I do that, or would that be like a... 
I'll say that he thought he, I don't think he's gonna think a rat is his opponent. Okay. So I think you're fine. All right. I will wild shape into a rat then. Yes. Very good. <laughs> wild <laughs> shape rat. He is the, the druid who does the rat run. Oh no, I haven't. They they know you're the druid every time. It's very sad. <laughs> That's so sad. But then I just fucking squeak 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 past you. <laughs> <laughs> that little line was so perfect. Yeah. Go for it. You can move your little guy. Oh yeah. Anything else? Uh, you still have your action. That's true. Transform is bonus for a moon druid like as such as yourself. I will. I'll I'll end my turn there. Okay. Sounds good. Sure. <laughs> you're up. <laughs> I'm gonna use my boots as springiness. Yeah. Jump over the desk. Yep. I think um, it's too sick to just like. Yeah. And I'm just gonna explode through with my holly jolly halberd. And recklessly swing it at his head. Incredible. The same one you hit, so we can really make sure we kill him. That's a nap fucking 20, baby. Oh! Let's go. So, how does that work with Great Weapons Master? Since it's a minus five, do I still get the crit of the nat 20? Yeah, you still. Okay. You still get it. But the plus 10 isn't doubled. Because it's a plus. Only the dice are doubled. 26. Hey, guess what? There's no way that you don't kill this guy. Okay. So, how how would you like to kill him? (laughs) I like to imagine I, I... Jump through the air, and as I come through, I just split them yeah. down the middle with a halberd. Yeah, it it goes straight down his head, and then like it starts getting like, and you end up just carving off like down by this area, just fully slides off, and uh, the guy next to him just screams in absolute terror. Um, because of Great Weapon Master, you have a bonus action attack because oh, you killed somebody. Oh my god, I get that. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm going to say, you're next, as I look at him and fucking swing it again. Fuck. <laughs> two worse rolls. Yep. That so one. A three and two. No. That add, won't do it. You can oh, add a d4. Okay. Does a 13 hit or no? Let's find out. Conceptually. Right. Wait, I don't want that one. I want this one. <laughs> Does a 10 hit? Nope. <laughs> You're really angry, and you just swing, and the guy ducks out of the way. He's in full panic mode. Um, anything else? Nah. Stewie, you're up. Then the troopers. Okay. Um, so I turn uninvisible. Yep. And then I'm going to use dissonant whispers and say, boop, to the guy. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Uh, 14 to save. Uh, my spell is 15. Oh, he just fails. So he Go ahead gets for damage. 3d6. And then he's going to run away from you guys, uh, imposing. You guys can take opportunity attacks on him if you want. 13. Holy. Yeah, that guy's not looking great. I'll take the opportunity. Tragic. Thanks. I'll take the opportunity attack. Sounds good. Man, I am rolling real stinky. Added before. four. Uh, that's a 12. Oh, a big 15. 15 hits. Uh, huge, huge. <clears throat> this is where I would be blasting combat music <laughs> if it wasn't DMCA. Nine damage. Nine. Yeah, this guy's dead. Nice. You just did 13 and then you jabbed him. The one, two. Very good. Nice hit. Good um, combo. I think that's all I can do right now, right? You can move. And you have a bonus action. Um, okay, I... I'm going to turn invisible again. Wait, uh, I no, I can't, I can't do that. Once. Never mind. No, I'm good then. I don't want to move. Okay. Uh, it's up to the troops now. Hey, Valar, this guy in front of you, he racks his shotgun and he's going to shoot at your chest. He's afraid of me, though. He's frightened, so... He you... will have disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. He rolled a one. He's <laughs> uh, missing with a shotgun. He attacks again. He rolled a second one in a row. I didn't even roll a disadvantage. One into one. That you've got. Does he that. just disintegrate on the spot? Uh, yeah. No, he sprints away from you like an idiot. Okay, well I'm gonna attack him. Yep, you also can attack him. <laughs> okay. Um, this guy's gonna run down here though. He's gonna shoot you with a gun. Mine is a 15. That's a hit. Okay. Mine is a 24. That will definitely hit. I, sorry, with Grim Master, it's a 19. That'll still hit. Uh, against you, it's a 16 to hit. Ah, damn. Hit me. Uh, 12 damage for me. 12 damage, it's okay. 10, 10 on the swing and then 2 from my Necrotic Shroud. Gotcha. Oh, Stewie, this is not looking good for you. Uh, how's 27 piercing damage sound? I have one hit. <laughs> Guess what? 
<laughs> he's gonna shoot Probably again because really like these guys attack twice. Uh, yeah, that's like a nineteen to hit. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, you're down for sure. Okay. Boom! Second shot. Oh my god. She goes down. <laughs> I hit the guy for twenty eight. <laughs> I think he might be dead. Yeah, you guys fucking <laughs> shoom, <laughs> chop him into two or three pieces with your two attacks. I there you go. Like your shotguns. Um, this guy is gonna run out. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, he can see you. He's gonna shoot you with his uh, with his gun. Right past him, fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you can take an attack of, attack of opportunity as a I, I have. I would have like three HP. <laughs> yeah, but when you get to zero on your animal form, you just pop back into you. Oh, okay, yeah, fucking rat attack of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Roll your attack. Rat attack. Also, are you like attack like a, like just a rat, or are you like a mouse droid? I guess I'm like a little robot, right? Yeah. Uh, at 13, so I don't think that would hit. Uh, it doesn't hit. You go, and, <laughs> and he doesn't even notice you tend to I light like, a little <laughs> cigarette. It's a, tw- <laughs> <laughs> a 22 to hit as he uh, blasts at you. Tragic, yeah, it hits. Uh, wow, that was also very bad. Uh, he probably saved it. 27. Pierce it. Yeah, that's nothing I even feel that. Second shot against you is a 15 to hit. <laughs> Not even close. Boom! It, you fucking form your body to have a hole in the middle and it misses you. Yeah. Um, it hits him. And then it hits him. Yeah. Right through the window. Oh, they're dialing in on me. <laughs> uh, okay, that's the end of the troops' turns. 4A, you're up. These fuckers. These fuckers got walls. Damn. And the window's open next to us. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna. I can't see ha- uh, Hugh. I That's true. He is in the fog cloud. So uh, I'm gonna run up here, and these this windows. That's yep. the window. Is broken. You I'm just gonna yeet. Around. I'm gonna activate the staff and yeet it. Sure. The smoke. Yes. Yeah. You know what? How the? I'll just do this. This is uh, your snake. Sick That's a giant snake. It's pretty big. Fill the and then I can use the bonus room. action to say attack bad guys. Cool. In parentheses. In parentheses. He doesn't have a uh, initiative. It does. I, I, I thought you rolled it. I, no, I didn't I roll the NPC. You, you can roll for it. Oh god. Because no. it's an NPC under your control. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he has to have all these stats for this snake now. Well, I know it's HP is sixty, so that's sick. Yeah, it's a thick snake. But when it dies, if if it dies, if it dies, it's it's be, it would be a shame for me to. Lose it, right? A six? Yeah, six. Times. Excellent. Or sorry, sorry, six roll. Yep. So hemp and the snake share a turn. Okay. Does the snake have a name? Banana conda. Banana conda. That's, 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 that's snake a snake and banana. Amazing name. Or hemp and banana conda. Great. Um, anything else on your turn? Nope. Uh, hemp and banana conda. You don't. It want is your share turn? Help Stewie. I I, re- I used both my action, my bonus action, uh, and uh, basically, if I go in time. there and just heal her, I'll die. No. Yep. I'm going to sprint up to the window and kind of like peek in and just get as little line of sight of the three those two goobers back there and go, magic missile! And just kind of like blast it through. Yeah, there. sure. Go ahead. So I'll upcast it too. So it's 4d4. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plus one. Oh my lord. You're probably, oh probably going to kill this guy. Embarrassing. Huh? You're probably going to kill this guy. Oh, well, that's bad news for him. <laughs> I don't know how much damage these guys have taken. These guys haven't been hit, have they? I was going to say, I don't think oh, they're, about to, they're about to find out. Because the one guy who was is already dead. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, that's not a great roll. That is... One guy takes six damage, and then the other guy takes five damage. Okay. They both are not looking awesome. I mean, they have more health than this, but now they're bleeding. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. And uh, I'm going to try and maneuver with this potion. I'm going to pretty much kind of that doorway sevens by. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to speedball the potion through there and just pray that it doesn't end up hitting our boys, you and them. Because that bad boy's about to go off. Whereabouts is it going to go? I'll give you a token to move. This bard's token. You can move to where you want to throw it to. Mm -hmm. You want to move this loot? I was going to, but I feel like that may... The radius may get our boys. Fair enough. Where is um, it? Actually, I haven't moved yet, so let me scoot down here and see if I can... Hmm. Something like here or like here? Do you think I could conceivably get it here? Or is that too much? Ooh. 
That is going to be a challenge. So roll athletics. Well, let's see how she looks. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, 19. Okay, yeah. Uh, he's got an you throw it in. Yeah, oh, you he's... throw it in, <laughs> and it just goes through a doorway, and kind of at a distance, you're... As the electricity goes off, it's only going to hit this guy in the corner. Okay. But I have to make a save. It is a... Write this down. 10-foot radius. Oh, okay. Whoop. I forgot which spell we based it off of. Ah, yes, of course. So just electric fireball. Lemelon Creek. Huh? Uh, it is not fireball. That would no. be insane. Oh, no. Yeah. Spread of the campaign. But it does, uh, it does hit him because his save was very bad. It was a nine. Mm. Wow, and did a bunch of damage too. It does 10 lightning damage. Okay. And it kind of sounds like a fart noise. <laughs> oh. We have that written down in our sheets. Okay. <laughs> we, all go, we all go, tee -hee. No, but they hear it. Very good. <laughs> That's why I'm like, it hit. This guy back in the corner looks really, really hurt, but also looks like he could drink a poison and not be too damaged by it. Because your potions have two effects now. Oh, yeah, I was like, that's oddly specific. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah I was just about to feed him a poison. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Go, what's your attack for uh, the anaconda? The bananaconda. Uh, am I reading this right? It says, <clears throat> uh, oh, wait, no, I, I already answered my own question by rereading it. Cool. So I'm going to attack the closest one that yeah. reaches 10 feet, yeah. so it doesn't have to move. Correct. You just hit the, the most distal one from the snake, right? No, I was cooking both those boys. Nope, you only hit yeah, the distant one. Yeah, yeah, but I hit him with the Since magic missile. Snake has... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Both of them have taken damage. 10 feet of reach. I'm actually going to hit the furthest one. Sounds good. All right. Whoop. How the fuck do I exist in this world? It's a great question. Oh, 12. When a mommy and a daddy. That's a miss. <laughs> All right. Snake. Bananaconda just goes... <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to the top, Hugh. I'll finish this weak one off down here. Get the little rapier out and jab on him. This will be my my hat trick. Go for, for it for this. That's a fifteen. That'll hit him just barely. And send him to the shadow room. I'll say good morrow to you, scholar. It's a uh, that's five. But that's probably it's kill exactly him. enough to kill him. You give him the jab in the chest, and he says good morrow, and he falls down. <laughs> his eyes. Got him with a Pfizer. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to bonus action hide so I don't get caught by this guy. Sure, very good idea. Roll uh, your stealth. Oh, man. Oh, well, this guy's very perceptive. Uh, not perceptive enough because it's a 20. He rolled a 19 and has plus one to perception. That's so, so just barely sees you. Um, well, then, he's got good eyes. He, he, he has carrots. He has, he's eating <laughs> carrots like crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we missed the giant <laughs> carrot. That was missing that. All right, let's start scooting. We flash back to him at lunch. There's a massive carrot in front of him. He's like, I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. Um, and then I'll use dash. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. um, hang on. I'm hanging? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Seven and shark. Five, two, three, four, five, six. And then dash. One, two, three. Yeah, can I move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to stay away from the windows. Okay. Am I away from the window here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I end my turn. Seven? Um, can I move, like, from here through here to here? Yep. Okay. That yeah. was pretty fast, but I'll just say yes. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, I'm gonna your action kick before. this door. Clear. Fucking. Are you still a rat? Yeah. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> squeak. Good. And then I will. I'll de de rat. Good. Um, squeak, 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 squeak. And then squeak. I'm going to bust this open door open and catch Shillelagh on the guy. Yeah. Right. Sure. So cool. I think we're way over how much movement you have, but I don't give a shit. This is hilarious. Oh, is it? I don't no, no, it. I don't care. You already rolled. Go for it. Uh, that would be enough. Well, it's 11. So That's it's... a miss. That's hard. Oh, uh... It's a squeak. Okay. Let's squeak, go back. Squeak. back in. Squeakers. Okay. Squeak, squeakers. Stewie. We've been doing this whole thing and nobody what do knows I do you're now? there. <laughs> Stewie, on your turn, you're unconscious, and I'd like you to make a death saving throw. <laughs> so you roll a d20. Okay. And whether... If it's a 10 or above, you succeed. 
Okay. Hello? It's a big roll. Oh, yeah, do that instead. Wait, 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 no, she rolled it, she rolled it. Aren't the, nope. aren't the rolls secret? Okay. You asked. They don't have to be. Again. Sorry. No, you're fine. Excuse us. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes, don't look. Nine. Oh, fuck. Did you dead? One fail. So if it's Sorry. three fails, you're dead. If it's three successes, you live. If you roll a 20, you instantly pop up and you're fine. Okay. If you roll a one, it's two fails. What happens if you take damage? If you take damage, it's two fails. That's why we're tanking with the snake. We're going to be okay, guys. The snake is tanking damage. It's all Next right. up is the trooper. No. <sighs> it barely sees Hugh, but it also sees this big robot that tried to attack him. He's first going to attack you as a puddle on the ground. That's a miss. That's a 11 to hit. That's not even close, Buster. It's going to turn the corner, and he's going to go clear, and he's going to attack at you, even though that's not what that means. I'm going to protect the second one. Okay, disadvantage. The window. That's a thirteen to hit. Uh, that that does hit. Uh-oh. Let's go! I'm excited when you guys take damage. Yippee! I'm the evil DM. <laughs> wow! I rolled one, two, three, four, five on the d sixes. Isn't that fun? Nice. Uh, thank you. Twenty-two piercing. Yeah, it hurts. That definitely hurts. But that's the end of his turn, and there's no other troopers up. 4-8. Wow, would you, just as I planned it. I run in like a fucking hero, and I heal Stewie. <laughs> With how much? All of it. Uh, all of it? All of it. Oh, now okay. there's no more health points yeah, to get. We yeah. all got no more health. <laughs> yeah. Stewie has 14 billion. <laughs> <laughs> Took it from every life form. Yeah. Yeah. The strongest. All of it. Seven. It was all of it. Seven. Seven. Seven HP. Oh, and you okay. can pop back up. Well, that'd be five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you turn around the tip of the yeah. iPad. It's just gonna ask you a quick question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? No. Wait, wait, okay. actually I'm dumb. Uh well I am dumb, obviously. Uh and then anyways, I um I do the sacred flame at the guy that's still up. What are you using to heal? Healing word or cure wounds? Healing word, it's seven okay. seven Fantastic. HP. Uh, gotcha. Bonus action, and I fucking suit with that guy, and that'll be yield. Thanks for Ray. Oh, I that'll be five dollars. Don't even thank me. Just save. I got five that. things for you right here. You came back enough, just, buddy. Just, just, quick. You were just. There. She uh, comes up with. Why? Why? Nine. Nine? Yeah, this guy. Uh, you you kill him. How do you do it? Just fuck it. Yeah. I've done this. I've killed so many people, it's not even big to Yeah, the sacred flame just hits him in the neck and he goes, and he just falls down on his face. Great job, Banana Conda. Great job. It goes, <laughs> it, says, it, says, it, says, it says, thank you. This is amazing. Does it think I'm a good, a good role model? All right, you guys are out of combat. The entire lab is empty at this point. Turns into a stat. I'm going to. Uh, Give who, who got hit? Me. I have e. four HP. I'm Hold gonna. On. Okay, go ahead. Your your uses for your spell are much better than this one. So I'm just gonna do healing word by expending one of my channel divinities to get a spell slot back because I used to. Sure. And then healing prayer, uh, which is all uh-huh. fucking nuts. But I'm gonna cast that for ten minutes, so don't go anywhere. Do you have healing prayer at this level? Prayer Did we already cover this? Prayer of healing. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, How much of the heal? Uh, 2d8 plus my spell casting uh, modifier. So quite a bit. To Two both person of us. Right everybody right next to us right now. That's huh? actually everybody insane. is about to get this healing. Yeah. What is it? 2d8? Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing oh, it. you do it. Yes. Uh-huh. I was thinking or Vitality, I think. Okay, so 11 HP to everybody. Let's go. Nice. Yeah. That'll be five dollars. Appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't need it. I'm kidding, guys. That it's a joke. I'm a Money, I swore yeah. myself to poverty. But I became a monk. He was like catching fluid that was pouring out of him, and like trying to. He's like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good, guys. If you need any additional tune-ups, just come see me. Hey guys, how did it feel to get shot? <laughs> that was that. Sucks. Didn't feel anything. I'm okay. back to hating guns. Oh. <laughs> uh, for those, anybody still need a significant amount of HP? Do you have a song of short rest? Uh, yes. I've got Song of Rest. Katarina walks in. Okay, I stopped hearing blasts for like roughly 10 seconds. I'm assuming you either won or lost. 
Yes, we hard as hell. Okay. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to motion with my hand. She can hold it if she wants. Yeah, she holds your hand. Oh, God, he's so fucking lucky. Damn. It's R rated. We might have to turn off the. <laughs> hey, for Ray, did you, uh, that last fellow, did you kill him? Yeah. Yeah, sh- oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Well, I'm well, I just going to say your deity is not going to be happy about that. We saw the receipts. <laughs> Holy shit, we've cre- we agreed not to kill anybody anymore. Well, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly didn't. Also, I'm not even in a contract. You with brought it. me back to life, though, so there's got to be some canceling out there. In law, we call I it expend, Nunk Pro Tunk. I expend <laughs> another another channel divinity. Okay. And we're, we're not smart enough to know that. <laughs> like, to be very I mean, clear, when you did Augury, you were asking about if you should kill these people, and she was like, please, God, don't kill them. I know, but. Okay, cool. My intelligence is 10. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And I. I mean, isn't that average intelligence? Yes, it's yes, pretty normal. Yes, it is, which means like... Which but he's also a... Let me play. roll play. Let me roll play. an average guy who happens to be fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First of all, you guys don't even know that I put a rope in a pocket so I can know where people are. Right? That's don't true. Let's not, like, the rope in the pocket gambit. Yeah, that's okay. a pretty smart move. What is all this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just because I didn't find anything from it doesn't mean it wasn't no, a good play. he was literally saying yeah, it was a smart thing to do. Okay. <laughs> so the dichotomy of smart to... No, I, want what, my, what you, I want my deity on no, the phone, God damn it. What are you doing? I, I repeat. Can I did, you're Augury? Yeah, okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, 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 what are you saying in Augury? Uh, is, are you mad at me? Ding, 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 ding. You open up and the text says... Oh, man, what does it say? <laughs> uh, it says, not wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> not wheelie. We're all good. Oh, it's like, okay. really Thanks for bringing that up to me. Yeah, know. yeah, it has this face too. Yeah. yeah. Wanted to make sure she wasn't going to cook you alive or something like that. She did not seem happy last time. Uh, I mean, it, I probably deserved it. No, you don't. Oh, that's so sweet. He yeah, shot you run through her banana so. seeds in the lab. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already gone. <laughs> she's already power walking into the lab and she's getting to work. And as she starts doing things, the cards that you guys are holding, the script begins to glow. And the resolve the food crisis becomes crossed out. We did it. Holy shit. Nice. We solved the food crisis. It's about we... damn time. <laughs> it's really weird that we didn't even need one hot dog for this. I think, honestly, <laughs> that, that is tragic. Oh, that's so means... bananas are food? We can take them back with us. Do you think we can take the hot dog monster back to the... We you know? definitely could try. <laughs> At some point, uh, Katarina goes, Eureka! And she pulls out a... Uh, That's the thing I say. Yep. She pulls a piece of paper out of a printer and she says, okay, I have the formula. I'm fully able to synthesize it. Honestly, I didn't realize it was going to be this simple. I'm going to load this formula into a bunch of drones and just aerosolize as much area as I can. And everything should start going back to normal, at least when it comes to food. Science is easy. It's going to be hard to get it to like other countries and stuff, so we're going to have to start small, but now this is being broadcast permanently to everyone on the planet. So whoever can is going to start working on bringing food back. That You're such a talented woman. That's incredible. <laughs> she blushes. What are you going to do about the monkeys? I mean, I figure they'll fight with the humans at the Dino Rodeo and maybe things will go bad, but... Once they start seeing their food is growing back, there won't be much to fight over. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's um. You'd be surprised. People fight over a lot of things, but there'll be a little bit of peace for a little while. I think. Uh, at any point, you guys can. I think it's tear up the ticket, and then the turnstile will appear. But if you guys want to do other stuff while you're here, you can. And there's still people that you can bring back to the museum. Side note. I have a con- giant fucking constrictor steak. If you want to get this giant hot dog, it's now, since now or never, brother. Or if you'd like, you can open the turnstile and they can all go and then we can, you know, Dude, fade to black on you going thing. to do a strike team thing and yeah. then you can go to the well, museum shot, after. I, I think tactile hot dog, one shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, dog, that's, that's also a great idea. I'm going to, uh, the lab, there's technology around in the lab, so yeah. I'm going to perception check for some, some cool shit. This will be investigation. Investigation, okay. Yeah. Perception is more like looking at a distance to see if something's wrong. If you're searching for something, like pushing stuff aside, that's an investigation. There's an unnatural 20. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to give you a DM classic, which is I had no idea that you were going to do this, but you roll well, and I think the idea is very strong. You do find something, 
We will tell you what it is in the next session, what it is. But you find something and it is good. It's gonna be some sort of upgrade. Hell yeah. For your boy. This is gonna be so cool when I know what it is. Maybe Ryan, <laughs> maybe Ryan will get mad at me and he'll be like, make it just like fucking nothing. Or maybe <laughs> it'll be like, you have plus 20 AC and you can fly and fucking, you have rockets. But you know, we'll get there. We'll Somewhere get there. in there. Yeah, yeah it'll be between do. those two. Who are you taking back to the museum? All right, let's go Izzy. get Izzy. Yeah. Izzy? Yeah. Anybody else? Hey, Catalina, we're gonna speed her on this roll flight. Baby girl, you wanna come back to the museum <laughs> with us? What's there? Uh, you can do probably a shit ton of science there, actually. You can probably access a bunch of different worlds and see some crazy shit go down. Sure. Okay, that's cool. Fuck it. I think it should be fine that you're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and we should probably leave you, right? Like, he's gotta run the Well, he's not, he's he's not even here. Yeah. Unless we wanted to, we should. That's what I mean. There's no use in going back. I'm gonna pull out a piece of paper on parchment. I'm gonna write a little note that says, Shark loves you, and I'm gonna stick it on one of the drones as it goes by. Good. Like, that's going, that's gonna go to him. Perfect. And then I'm gonna sit in this comfy computer computer chair and wait for strike force to come in so I can go extract big hot dog. I yep. may come back with them. I may come back with nothing. You may not come back at all. I may not. <laughs> That'd be this so is crazy. so true. I've got 10 minutes because this is going to get emotional. <laughs> 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 I want you all to know how much you mean to me. Mm. But this hot dog just means more. <laughs> so I, I get have it. to say. It totally it makes sense. It uh, makes sense. I'm going to tear my ticket. You guys see as the turnstile pops up and the curator is sort of standing there and he leans out and he goes, welcome back, you guys did incredibly well. I mean, as well as I expected, maybe better. Please join me. And he turns around and he gestures you all in. And one by one, other than shark, you file into the turnstile through the museum. And a day later, coming back from your mission at the warehouse, the turnstile is still present in the lab and you're able to push through and rejoin everyone in the museum. And that's where we're going to end Dino Rodeo. Yep. Yeah. Unless I we save the world. <laughs> Good job, guys. We save the fucking world. Let's go.